Vic a picture of your dog. Actually, dog, bro, Vic. Why is that your screensaver? Are you mad that R. Kelly's mugshot is my lock screen and Jesse Smollett's mugshot is my home <laughs> screen? That's hella wow. funny. Why? <laughs> Hashtag Chicago. No. Um. <laughs> let me go. <laughs> See, you got me fucked I up. I thought he was playing. <laughs> no, he no. is. His screensaver is. Oh yeah, now we're live. We're, we're back, back. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We live, we're baby. Mm -hmm. It's your boy, Vic, aka. Yeah, I'm done with the aka for now. No, before you start, last episode, you went on a long street of aka's for me, just roasting me. But I'm gonna let you live. Wait, with Jackie? Yeah. I, did, I gotta go back and listen. Yeah, you. <laughs> Y'all should go back and listen too. Check out episode uh, five of the Rubber Bottom Podcast. Yeah, you. Age of Hotron. You was roasting me for a nice long time, and I just I'm a, I'm gonna I'm just let it slide. You know, as much as I want to, I'm gonna just let it slide. I'm gonna be the bigger man. That's the nigga who like 125 pounds wet and wearing boots. Don't do him. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And that voice you hear in the background is the producer is finally back in the studio. Super oh, producer. Wow. Super producer. Yeah. Super producer. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jackie. Get a little closer to the mic. Oh. <laughs> D-nasty. That is not it. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Naughty D. Okay. I'm an angel. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I just oh. said... You're an angle. Angle. Shout out to the boy Nigel at in the school at underscore in ease or in underscore ease. Who the fuck his damn no, underscore name is? We'll we'll put it. I'm a text. But him. yeah, the nigga at work. Yeah. Nigga gotta go to job. Nigga got a job and shit. You know, niggas on a nine to five and shit. Niggas gotta work. Oh my my my. The fuck is a job, nigga. Uh, <laughs> it's 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 a thing that you go to that uh requires compensation real niggas don't get jobs bro real niggas sell drugs you right you right you right that's why I ain't no real nigga <laughs> you right you right so what you been up to man uh shit man chilling killing what about you that nice uh, energy drink um working <laughs> Working. I guess I'm not a real nigga. <laughs> Delivering the packages. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, deliver them drugs by the kilo. You know what I mean? Do you live deliver the same kind of packages R. Kelly did in Trapped in the Closet? Oh my wow. gosh! See, I didn't watch all the chapters. You didn't watch all the chapters of Trapped in the Closet. Mm -mm. What the heck? What? After a while, now nah, after a while, it got pretty stupid, in my opinion. That I kind of think that was the point. Yeah, but I kind of think Trapped in the Closet was supposed to be out out there. Yeah, it started really well, but then when I say stupid, I mean it's not stupid to where I'm still laughing. It's like stupid as in like this is not even funny anymore. What made mm. it stupid though? That it wasn't even funny no more. Well, it's just the okay. characters and okay. all that. It was okay. just really he got stupid. A point. He got a point. Like when the midget came in. How often in your actual day do you meet a midget? No, okay, I can't even say the midget because the midget was pretty funny. I stopped that. It was a. Uh, uh, How often do you meet a midget though? He was a stripper. I only met a midget once in my life. Yeah, and that was at work. I only and, met a and midget once. The thing is, he actually too. a little famous St. Louis midget. I think really? his name like Half Pint, Half Time. <laughs> half fine was my nickname half in high school. Half a cup. It's, it's, it's something half. Yeah, it's, something. it's not a full gallon. It's not a quart. He <laughs> ain't yeah, three fourths. No, no, no. It's just half, half nigga. <laughs> if that. It should be half fine if that. <laughs> no, but now since we on the topic half of pint, R. Kelly. A little less. A little less. Since we on the topic of R. Kelly. P. Kelly. Did you hear about what is going on with him now? That he can't afford bail. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just talking about that whole in general. How the nigga charged. who wrote "I Believe I Could Fly" can't afford bail? Uh, niggas don't know about their contract. <sighs> or Kelly been making money too goddamn long, not the motherfucking know how to save money. Nigga, how you don't got a million dollars? Well, I can see it just off of. And what I mean, what I mean by that is. I believe, I remember, I believe I could fly. I believe, I believe, I believe I could, I. 
That was the African remix. Uh-huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> that was the African remix. I Believe I Could Fly came out, shit, somewhere like 1992, 1991. Fact check me, Devin. Whenever Space Jam came but out. But that shit was on my damn, uh, we, we sent that shit at my damn kindergarten graduation. And they're still singing it now. So my nigga, I've been, I'm 25 now. You mean to tell me over the last 20 years, nigga, you ain't got a million dollars? You? <laughs> what are you doing bad, with your money? He's you, doing bad contracts, that's what he's especially doing. Especially when you making money like that. I Believe I Could Fly came, damn. Came out in 19... 19- it did not come out in 1998. How you gonna tell me? 98? Yes. Mm, I believe it. It's a, it, was a, it was during the Jordan era. Wait, never mind. Okay, now it would have had to because I'm it making it seem it. like 25 years ago wasn't 1993. I'm, I'm high. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm high, clearly. No, but uh, yeah, apparently he just got charged. On 10 counts of sexual abuse? And sexual, all type of sexual stuff. It was a whole video. He made a part two. I guess he said I gotta one up the first one since niggas thought I was playing. Let me let me let me show y'all how I really get that. No nigga talking about sequels. <laughs> Let's just hope it's not a trilogy. <laughs> this is a trilogy. The, the now I feel like you now. <laughs> this is a trilogy that I do not want to see. Man. But do you believe that is actual second tape that actually surfaced? Uh, no. Really. Oh. Why is that? I kind of don't want to believe he that stupid <laughs> to get this shit on <laughs> to get this shit on camera again. Okay, but what if it was? What if the video that surfaced is an old video that they just found? I can believe that. I don't think he. I will hope he not making new videos. How are y'all just now finding? He's like, oh man, four K camera. Yeah. I, how are y'all again. just now finding these old ass videos? Mm-hmm. How you? F- how you feel about the ladies who were a part of it still going to his concert? Not the not people in general going to his concert, but the people who were actually involved in the case and situation. At a certain point, you're not brainwashed no more. That's what I would believe. Hmm. At a certain point of shock, like a whole documentary that came out about this nigga. Y'all was in the fucking documentary. Like after that kind of shit, bro, you're not brainwashed no more. You willingly making these choices. Yeah. But the whole Stockholm thing, man, it's like the, ra- See, the rapist I wonder, I become wonder, with I the... wonder how common is developing Stockholm Syndrome is. Is it a, everybody in these, putting these kind of conditions is going to develop Stockholm Syndrome? Only certain types of people? Because like... I believe it's only, only certain s- type of people. I say only certain type of people get addicted to drugs. Yeah, I feel like it's only certain type of people. Like, he, like uh, in the documentary, they say he was preying on the weak and the weak-minded. And I feel like that's that's you ever, it. You ever met a weak girl? You ever dated a weak girl? Have I dated a weak girl? No, that's unattractive to me. Yep, I had to fall back off one. I want to say it was shit. 20, 2015, 2014? 20, 2015, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, just mine was so victimized. She always seen herself the victim in her situation. Yeah. So and every she wanted pity and sympathy yeah, for everything. Yeah, and like it always like That's every week me. something new is happening in your life, and it's just like for me, it's just like this is like a pity party, and I don't want no invitation. Yeah, I, I'm not attracted to negativity, even when, even when uh, before this, I want positive vibes around me at all, at, all, at all times. See, I don't always just want positive vibes. Bring some of your negativity too, because I can't have a positive motherfucker around me all the time. Uh, that's where I disagree because it's like if everybody over here is being positive, trying to motivate each other and push each other, why having this person on the side like, nah, man. Well, see, because we're, we're human and we go through the whole spectrum of emotion. So with me being a writer, I like to tap into my negative feelings when I'm feeling them and produce shit. Yeah, but that's you on your own. I'm talking about... No, I do that when I'm around other people. We could be sitting here having a whole... Venting talk, and I will pull out my phone if somebody sparks something. No, 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 no. I'm talking about not you being able to tap into your own negativity because I can do that too. I'm saying like, you, it's we all having fun right now, all of us in the studio right now, and then somebody over here hear us all having fun, and then all of a sudden they just be like, I don't want to know. Have you ever been around somebody who's always happy? Um, not no. 
That shit is highly fucking Devin. Have you always? I'm pretty sure it's annoying. Always happy. Always, always in a good mood. That shit is so, so annoying. I I feel like I like I I agree with you that so it can like, be annoying. I, I just want to be around more people that experience all of the human emotions, but don't dwell on a specific one. Yeah. Okay. I can agree with that because, for instance, say somebody who when I say positive vibes all the time, like they obviously going through a situation. Like, uh, let's just do something like my dog died or something like that. Now, they, they really hurt that their dog is dead, but they can just flip it to it being positive. Like, oh, well. I ain't never been a pet person. I could never get overly emotional about an animal dying. I'm Me sorry. Neither. I'm sorry, PETA. Rest in peace to Steve, uh, Steve Irwin. Actually, no, fuck PETA, dog. You heard this mm-hmm. shit about Peter? No. Man, Peter been fucking disrespecting Steve Irwin on his birthday, man. The whole internet coming for Peter. Really? What they say, man? Pull up that, pull up that, man. Pull up that motherfucking shit, man. I don't, I don't, I don't. It's, I... it's fuck Peter, man. We putting on all animal fur for the rest of the year. <laughs> Dang, that's that's savage. <laughs> <laughs> that's savage. Meat coats, nigga. Nah, Everybody getting one. As far as uh, the animals go, I never been emotionally tied to an animal either. But as far as Peter go, I know, I remember one. It was one situation where um, Peter was trying to come for people uh, for eating like, eating meat. They were trying to make everybody vegetarian, and it's like or vegan. I don't know which one. Don't do the fish or any of that. I think yeah, vegan. Vegans. Yeah, they were trying to make everybody vegan, and I'm like, I think Whoa. the views are misguided. The views are highly misguided. Like, there, there's, there's definitely negative kind of uh, negative benefit. Uh, no, not negative benefit. Ne- there's definitely negative aspects to a complete full, uh, a complete vegetarian or a complete vegan diet. Mm-hmm. We need meat. Yeah. We might not eat as much as we consume. Like meat should definitely not be the biggest portion of our of our meal. Right. So if you look at your plate, the biggest thing on your plate should not be the the meat. It should be the sides. Uh, the, your meat should actually be more like a side. Yeah. Oh. Um, mm. Yeah. I'm, if that's what it is, yeah, but that's not how I eat. <laughs> that's not Maybe how, I need to flip it. That's not how Americans eat, though. Yeah. But it's like if you want to be on a, on a whole healthy aspect, mm-hmm. we shouldn't be eating as much meat, but we definitely don't need to be eating none at all. I mean, we definitely should not be eating none at all. I think we get what you're trying to say. Okay. <laughs> I think, you, just, like, you just confuse your own self. So. Like English, dog. English. This, this is, shit is hard. This is a tongue-tied uh, episode right now. Hold on. We got, we got Peter back for quotes. Peter says, Ed Steve Irwin was killing while harassing a stingray. He was dangling his body while feeding a crocodile and wrestling wild animals who were minding their own business. Today, Google Doodle sends a dangerous, fawning message. Wild animals are entitled to be left alone in their natural habitats. Okay, so with that being said, one, I, I don't feel like... There's some people who've been clapping back at, at, at Peter. It's one nigga who was talking about... Uh, let me see. That's good. The Google, I like if, that uh, picture, We're looking though. at a, a Google picture of Steve Irwin. It's one, pi- it's, it's cool. one tweet, though, where they was talking about how, how uh, motherfucking Peter didn't either got funded or f- have funded... Uh, a, a rapist or uh, or yeah yeah, I gotta look into all of that shit. But it's like as far as PETA go and any uh organization as far as like PETA, the NRA, Black Lives Matter, all that type of stuff. Different thoughts can be misconstrued by a cert- certain type of people. Like they, as an a whole agenda, they can be thinking one thing, but one seed in that um that movement or organization can change everybody else's mind. That's just like, say you are a part of the Black Lives Matter movement. And the Black Lives Matter movement is for equality and all that. But you have your perspective of, no, this is just, we need to empower black lives and we need to be in power and F everybody else. And that's why I've always thought uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, when they're going under that name, if we're being honest, they not gonna get where they, they, the goal won't get accomplished. I don't know how you figure that. Because of the name, hmm. you're not gonna get 
white people who you really we need if we want to be have equality we need everybody on the same page everybody needs to be reading the same paragraph at the same speed if you want equality you can't get that if we're saying black lives matter and then other people are saying all lives matter white lives matter blue lives matter everybody lives actually matters it's just the fact that black people are have been disproportionately victimized by the police and, and their brutality so we feel like we need to say black lives matter yeah, and but and, in order to address that, we probably shouldn't name the group Black Lives Matter. We need a better name in order to attract the people who are with us, but they might not be black, and we definitely can use their help. Well, it's, that's, just, it's just one of those names that's going to put people off, even if they're for us, mm-hmm. because of the actual name itself. I disagree. For the simple fact is, um, that's like hold on wait that's like. All the Blue Power Rangers forming up, and they really still trying to protect the world. They really still trying to protect the world, mm-hmm. but they call themselves Blue Power Rangers Go. Now the orange and the red Power Rangers looking like, what? Well, I mean, the green and the red Power Rangers like, I mean, shit, can we help? How can we help? But it's a like Blue Power Rangers Go. I mean, that's a bad comparison. <laughs> it's funny, I, but that's I, I bad. Was pretty- <laughs> no, that's pretty bad. <laughs> No, but as far as you the said, yeah, the power rated. Right. That was that was weird. Right. No, but as far as the Black Lives uh, Matter movement, I do feel like it was help helpful for the simple fact that, uh, like how you were saying about the equality thing. And the reason, having, hold on, wait. I also got to say my view is also because I went to a university the year after it happened, after the Michael Brown shit happened. Mm-hmm. Those white kids feared the Black Lives Matter movement. They feared the shit because of how the media put it off. Yeah. That's what I'm saying with a different name. And it's like those white kids now aren't the same kind of kids they were then. They're actually my pro-liberal friends. And you've seen some of their posts then. Yeah. My pro-liberal friends, they ride for the shits. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like I just think that the name is off-putting. Okay. Yeah, but at the same time, okay, the media twisted it to one way. But the actual movement itself... They had a different meaning, like, um, for instance, like how you were saying, they were trying to bring awareness to to police brutality and all that. And it, it didn't just stop at police brutality as far as uh, Black Lives Matter. They, they were trying to be equal as far as police brutality. It even got to Hollywood to getting actors uh, paid just as much as the white actors. Even the black women getting paid as much as the black men. And all the other actors. It was many aspects to where um, the actual n- name of the uh, organization, Black Lives Matter movement, was important. It just got, like how you said, it got misconstru- misconstrued by the media. And they twisted up the meaning of what they were trying to say. Now, in the background, Black Lives Matter, the, the leaders, they were out publicly... Uh, telling everybody, no, we we're not saying no lives matter at all. We're saying they were, they were, they were the heads of the actual movement, not some of the people who was just claiming it just because of what was going on. See, that's where I differ with you because from what I was watching with it, especially when it first started, when it first started, the Black Lives Matter movement was saying. We're trying to bring awareness to saying, look, we matter. It's not just all, all y'all over here. It's it's all of us. Also, and let, let me finish. By the way, I also speak because I was at one of the nights of rioting in Ferguson. Mm-hmm. Me and Chris. Oh, so you were stealing some stuff? We getting there. <laughs> we getting there. A nigga did. Like, so, he said, I do need some Because there's, a a actually, there's actually a newspaper, a newspaper picture circulating around of me and Chris outside one of the stores not letting people go in the store because mm-hmm. niggas was actually trying to riot. Did you find me? No. Because no. niggas was actually trying to riot and trying to burn down the damn store. Mm-hmm. And we was just trying to protect the store and not let people go in. One of the niggas says like, man, hurry, man, this is $20, man. You don't even, this ain't even your fucking store, man. Move. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bruh, we <can> move. <laughs> <laughs> of course, if you, you see a hundred people coming after you, I ain't gonna fake it. I, I'm not, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm not scared of nobody, but a hundred people, it's not being scared, it's being it wasn't smart. Even that. It wasn't yeah. because they wasn't trying to hit us or nothing. They was just trying to get in the store and steal shit. Yeah. And it was the same store 
it was it was the same store that the whole uh the whole ex incident actually kicked off in mm-hmm. the little convenience store. Convenience store, yeah. But what I'm saying, but like before that happened, we was out there for good four hours. Before that happened, the same niggas was chanting Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. Right. And the thing is, niggas kept saying, Hey bruh, it's niggas from the city trying to come down and capitalize on this damn shit that's going on in the county. Right. These ain't all county bound Ken uh 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 Canfield niggas. Yeah. It it wasn't and it wasn't all Black Lives Matter people who were doing the rioting either. <laughs> all I'm saying is the Black Lives Matter. Oh, movement. of course not. Yeah, no, no. And that's what gave the whole riot. Uh, it was all negative, but the fact that it was so many people, that's what gave it an even more negative connotation because they don't know who, uh, from here. Like the outside world don't know how small St. Louis is and how how a 15 minute drive from Canfield to the city. Yeah, because you don't really. Growing up in St. Louis, you don't really realize how big St. Louis is mm-hmm. until you go to one of these smaller towns and they think St. Louis is the big city. And you're no, like, no, nigga. No, St. Louis the is Luke? very, yeah, St. Louis Luke? is very, very small. Yeah, yeah. Soldier Boy mean the Luke? Yeah, yeah. No, but Black Lives Matter movement, like I said, it was, it was about, e- what I got from it, it was about equality at first. And then a me- the media, along with some of, I won't say rebels of the Black Lives Matter movement, but some... Mm, that's actually an interesting way to put it. Though. Some of the other people who had different opinions, they were they all had the same opinion at first. Black li- we're going to call them Black Lives Matter operatives with other objectives. B-L-M-O-O. <laughs> <laughs> so the blue... <laughs> because the blue... Other, the blue... Black Lives Matter operatives were other objectives because their other objectives was to fuck shit up when other people want to come and bring people together. Yeah, the 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 original objective was to bring awareness that we do matter and we all want equality. But then some seeds, I won't, I don't know if it's bad. I won't say that bad seeds because at the same time of we trying to help, but at the same time we. We do want some type of power. We want to be heard. We want to be felt. I got an interesting question. I'm listening. Colorism is going on in other countries, right? Yeah. Do you think the Dark Lives Matter movement can get kicked off? (laughs) I'm dead ass serious. I know. That's why I started laughing. Because in other countries, the darker you are, the more you are to experience not necessarily racism, but prejudice. Um, So, could something called the Dark Lives Matter movement be a worldwide spark? In my personal opinion, no. You don't think it'll catch fire? It, it won't catch fire. What about you, Devin? In other countries? Well, the thing is... Are you saying just in the U.S. or... I'm talking about in other... I'm talking about, like, how things how things get viral and they become worldwide, like the Me Too movement. Right. Could a Dark Lives Matter movement kick off due to the fact that colorism is experienced in other countries? Not Black Lives Matter... Because it's single out people like me. Mm-hmm. You might be dark, but you're not my color. But you might be dark for your people. Right. So. I think it would hmm? I think it would kick off. You know what I mean by your people. The yeah, people th- of your actual, where you at? Them your people. <laughs> if I'm in St. Louis, St. Louis is my people. Cape ain't my people. Really not. But St. Louis is my people. All right, check this out. It'll kick off not for colorism reasons. It'll kick off for the simple fact that it's funny. Like, it just sounds funny to hear uh, dark people versus the world. Like, not trying to sound uh, racist against my own you... people, but that just sounds funny. Like, all the dark say, you people... You sound kind of hater. Yeah, it's not It's not trying to be a hater or anything, but it's just it just sounds funny. Like, all the dark you people... You sound like one of the light-skinned girls to be on the slave master's porch. Like, oh, look at them darkies. Look at them darkies yeah, out that's there. That's hella <laughs> funny. Yeah. <laughs> No, but I I don't think working in that hot ass sun. Ooh, I should bring some lemonade. I don't think it just like the Black Lives Psych. just like the Black Lives Matter uh movement. It won't kick uh it won't kick off because of this specific opinion. It'll kick off because other people in their own agendas. So basically, you tell them my my opinion ain't valid enough. They can't yeah. kick off from this podcast right here. Dark Lives Matter, niggas. Are you like African? No, I'm not. I am the descendant of an African slave in America. What's his name? Don't know. 
but so are you, so are y'all. Yeah. Do you descendant. feel like every black I don't, person should know? What I'm saying know. is, I don't like African American. I am the descendant of an African slave in America. Do you? Feel, I am American slave descendant. Do you feel like every? They gotta be him. Yeah. Do you feel like every black person should find out exactly where they're from? And no, so, I don't. I'm starting not to trust those whole DNA websites. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> I believe just sending your DNA off to some nigga in a lab and you have no like direct Mm -hmm. say or direct like it's different than just giving your DNA to your doctor or giving your DNA to a fucking hospital and they go check your shit. But like you just sending it off and they telling you where you're from. I don't I can't just take your word because you might just be able to see. Oh, yeah, he black. Let's say he from boom, boom, boom. And he got ancestors that came as far as boom and send him that shit. Take his money. Do you feel like, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? We, got we have another building. guest in this video. I mean, it, in this video, this man keep video. messing up on everything. This nigga then brought, he brought the wine wine. He said, this ain't wine, this is wine wine. Damn, Drew. Hold on. We're going to let you introduce yourself. What's going on, world? This your boy, Drew. A.K.A. the gay thug. He sound like a rapper right now. <laughs> <laughs> he sound like a rapper. What's your handles? Your IG, Snap, if you uh, got Let that. me see. IG is a uh, 21st century hippie. Uh, figure it out. Uh, Snapchat is Drewmo, D-R-U underscore M-O. That's about it. I don't fuck with the social like that. See, I'm right there with him. I don't, I don't. I'm never on my social media like yeah, that. Yeah, besides Snapchat and, uh, and Instagram, I'm, I'm right there. So, let's go back to that conversation. So, I got a question for you. Okay. Do you feel like black people should talk to the the elders in the family more to find out more about their family? They're not going to listen. Well, mm, to find out more about their family more, what do you mean? As far as the history of your family, where you came from, or just just different stories that oh, we need Oh, okay, to we're going know. back to the 21 and me question. Oh, so just to bring both of y'all up to speed, uh I don't believe in the whole DNA testing websites shit. I don't either. I don't believe in just sending my DNA off to some nigga in the lab and just let him lie to me and tell me I'm from boom 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 boom. That's what y'all do. Like why it, do you it, think it's, my, uh, why do you think they lying? I mean, because we know where the hell most of the slaves came from, West Africa. So it's like what else what more do you really but need some, to tell some me? Some of them some of those sites actually pinpoint to know what tribe and all of that. I mean, that's cute. <laughs> not cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute, but I'm not going to have you lie to me if I can't actually see it myself. Yeah. I'm not right, in the right. lab with you doing the research. It's so, like I just told you. It's not like yeah. it's not like actually sending the shit off to my doctor, somebody I actually trust. So what if you... What it's if, also the trust value because it's like, I in my mind, you can be, these are all the tribes in West Africa. Okay. This is him. Okay, he's black. Okay, okay. Well, he he part this. He part this. He part Mandanka. He part Yarobi. You know what? His grandma. His grandma's definitely a Dinka. I don't know for sure, but his grandma's definitely a Dinka. But, all right, his grandma a Dinka. Put that shit on the paper. All right. So check this out. So what if you do the what is it called? 23, 21? What is it's, it it's Ancestry.com, 23 so and me. Yeah, yeah it's right, a lot so, of them. So let's just use Ancestry. And the fact that it's so many. Different, like, online sites? Yes. The fact that it's so many also just makes me a little bit more skeptical. What if it wasn't a profit off of that site? Yeah. Like they saw it's the fact that try, if they wasn't trying to profit off of it, I'd probably believe it more. You got to make your money. You, I always got to be skeptical about people who are trying to profit off shit. Like, once this whole... uh, cause, We've actually, just to let everybody know, we're going to go ahead and drop the blue pill for the week. I, it's unprepared, but um, we have successfully cloned, well, not cloned. We have successfully genetically modified the first baby. The first human baby has now been genetically modified a few months ago. Bonified. By, huh? You said bonified. Modified by a Chinese, uh, a Chinese doctor. Um, it's a lot of backlash in the scientific community about this. A lot of backlash because people don't know if we should be doing this quote unquote playing God but we are at that stage in human technology but going back to the ancestry.com say you do the ancestry.com and you do what I said as far as going back and talking to elders like say your family has done this for generations 
the eldest talk to the eldest and y'all just pass down stories from generation to generation and it matches up from uh, Ancestry.com. Would mm-hmm. you trust it then? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. I would actually trust Ancestry.com as a whole even more because it would be it would, it would be just like if you ever wrote a research paper mm-hmm. looking at this land uh, looking at this uh, 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 piece of research and looking at this and then seeing where they match up at. It's just having more than one source is what's going to make it more believable. Mm-hmm. I say using multiple of those. I say using multiple websites, uh, Ancestry.com and 23andMe. they both been out a very long time. So I say both of those sources are credible. So as would you say us. somebody should send their DNA to both of them? I say, yeah. I say if you're skeptical about one, use more than one. But what if they both come back two different things and they got a $250? Well then, that's what that's then point, you though. you proved the point. But you got a twenty. Science, you need money to make science. Money though, yeah. that counts as research. You don't need money to make science. You need money to do advanced science. All right, what well, you say? Yeah, that's what we meant. You heard what I said, and I said what I meant. I agree. One of the reasons why it's I all hate in you. research. It's, uh, it's definitely all in the research. <laughs> <laughs> you need a cup. You need a glass. I mean, if you want me to. I mean, good. I mean, well. nah. They they're they're in the studio taking shots of strong. I don't even want to say this a is strong a strong death. It's wine. It's wine. Don't it's wine. wine. Nah, it, it, they say this wine wine, but it looked like some <sighs> damn moonshine to me. How <laughs> like moonshine? It the is bottom. wine. He's the, not from the country. He ain't he never seen cold. moonshine for moonshine for real for real coming a jar like that. Getting some ghetto ass little oh, a mason jar. Yeah, yeah. you're right. I, 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 I was just <laughs> talking. I have family that make moonshine. Yeah, <laughs> we make same. Moonshine. Yeah. same. Uh, I was about to say I have family that do that, but yeah. But as far as the whole, we ain't talking about this expensive shit. Judy bought this say. bottle. Look fancy. You told me to bring some wine, and not wine. You bought. I mean, wine. what do you yeah. expect the gay thug to bring? The I bottle. Like, let me tell you how fancy the wine is. <laughs> I can't even pronounce the, the bottle, word on it. It says la, 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 the bottle la, got a cell. <laughs> the bottle got a cellophone wrap. <laughs> it says la, 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 I need la, a cork to take off this bitch. You yeah. guys are. Oh, is that not how you're not supposed to take out? You seen you just twist the top on that motherfucker. All wine No, you seen you just twist the top on that motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> you sure that's one hundred percent wine? <laughs> oh yes, that shit is man. That looked like a it's big like old that, uh, rum bottle. It's like Capriccio, you know that? Yeah, that the sneak up wine. Yeah, oh. that shit sneak up on you. What do you mean? <laughs> that shit does not. It's worse than an assassin. Oh, I feel that shit coming. It sounds like you are. I call it Caprico. Actually, yeah, I'm. Um, like I'm that. not necessarily. An alcoholic, <laughs> <laughs> but you can call me a connoisseur. Come on, connoisseur. Connoisseur, okay. Of particular wines. You have to make sure all. Now, have y'all niggas ever met before? Yeah. No. no. I, that's why I told. You, I said. I, I'm In for all sure the years I've, I've known him. this nigga, you've never met him. No. no. Well, you know, I, you know, I be doing the MIA thing. You know, yes. I have my mission. Okay. Let's not go. There. And I'm pretty good at knowing people's faces. Like, as soon as he walked through the door, I was like, I've never met this nigga before. I'm pretty good at being in the shadows. Um, shadows. He knows faces. I know shadows. That's not like an assassin, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do not go to sleep. <laughs> He's going to kill you. Damn, this was like a sexy ass. I don't even want to open this. He is filling on the wine bottle Stop like ra- it's uh, Have you tried it? Stop raping my wine, Yeah, you know? that's what it looks like. He's doing that. This bottle feel nice. The wine is going to be part of the Me Too movement. This bottle wow. shaped like the women I like to date. Skinny neck, big Skinny. bosom, slim waist, and that ass. All right. So he just, um, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? For all those listening out there. He just objectified a, a wine for bottle. Real. <laughs> <laughs> well, you Drew, sure that wine bottle wants to be <laughs> looked at like that? We had a gay girl alone last week. Shout out to Jackie. You coming back, Jackie. So I decided to have my gay ass best friend on this week. That's that's what Drew comes in the picture. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga voice is deep as hell, bro. I know. You know what's funny? Um, I I love. That's one thing I love about myself is my voice. 
is that my voice and my appearance and who I am, none of it matches. It don't. <laughs> it don't. The and way this great. nigga dress, the way he sound, and the way he looks, none of the shit matches. Okay, but he's a good rapper. It's because he don't match. The nigga look like a reject Corbin Blue. Let's reject not. Corbin let's not go Blue. there. He do. <laughs> This nigga is Corbin Red, got the motherfucking <laughs> got the motherfucking voice of an all state commercial guy, and the nigga dressed like <laughs> the nigga dressed like your third grade skater boy. First off, oh it's pronounced preteen in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's hella fucked that's up hella because funny. it's it's the truth and it kind of hurts. <laughs> you said what? I got these contacts with you. What Corbin oh Red? Oh my gosh, Corbin, Corbin Red. Red. <laughs> I think that's the funniest you think. When I change my Snapchat to underscore, Corbin. I wish I was Corbin. <laughs> that's hella funny, bro. What else we got on the docket today? Let's talk about uh. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about you and me. Uh, Let's talk about. I will. That's mine. <laughs> so ass. I start off in song all the time, and nobody joins me. So Why not? Crazy. I, don't I know. love a jam. I love a jam. I love a jizzy jam, but get me going and grooving and moving. They're ignorant. That's why. Let's talk about lion ass. Uh, lion ass Jesse. Jesse. Lion ass Jesse. You invited the right person. <laughs> So let's you... hear your thoughts on it first. Honestly. Let's go let's go oh, around. God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be last. Okay. Uh, Dev, do you want to talk last about Last on the it? blind or last on the... Last, uh, not on that. No, last on the you... conversation. The jacket. I'm drinking from my life. So, Dev, do you want to start it off or... Um, I'm not quite sure, but I was real butthurt because I watched Empire, and that was my shit. He was my fave. But I kind of feel like the whole act, it sounds like it's really unsettling because if y'all have 20 million different answers on what the hell happened y'all don't know what y'all talking about 20 different answers as far as the police or jesse the police like if there's evidence so you don't believe sides, the police no i don't okay it's like y'all had other issues to talk like talk about first like the chick was in the freezer too much other crimes that happened in chicago hold on wait 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 two different counties that was rose for that was rosewood county illinois where kanika was in the freezer rest in peace to kanika Rest I'm thawing heaven, baby girl. Honestly. Uh, and Cook County was is, is where Jesse and uh, R. Kelly is now doing a duet concert. Yes, God. They're both in the same jail. Same, same jail. jail. Oh. <laughs> All right, so that's your thought. I, I see the love of my life and my potential wife in the same, same jail. jail. Yeah, same jail. That can't be this funny, bro. <laughs> I told you this is why I didn't want you on the damn podcast. <laughs> So what's your thought, Tyree? Okay, so after after the whole uh, personal trainer shit had came out today, and from being and helping people, you know, get lose weight and helping them personal training and shit, those look like legit messages. Those are the kind of messages I've had with people. You give them, you know, the the what what they need to be eating throughout the week. I'd also give them a workout list, and then periodically check in to make sure they doing what they supposed to be doing. I've done that with you, Drew. Just make, yeah. Even though I have not kept up to date with it, <laughs> he has. <laughs> but you just you check in with him, so it's like those messages look legit to me. So you believe the cop? Uh, you believe Jesse as well? I don't know what to believe. I'm suspending, uh, di- uh, suspending my belief. Okay. Because I I, I know much. not to believe, not to wholeheartedly believe police officers, because your job, your nigga, you not, you're not. In Canada, they're called the police service. Mm. In America, they're called the police officers. The difference? One, serves the community. Our cops do not serve us. So, I know not to wholeheartedly trust the cops. But, they've poked holes in my nigga's story where it's like, my nigga, I ain't saying your story to Titanic, but you're looking real Leonardo DiCaprio right here. The Crappio? Oh. DiCaprio is really good. The Crappio, because this is a crappy ass story if he lied. Yeah, but don't compare compare him to Leo. Leo is really good. <laughs> well, see, I, <laughs> I, I, I didn't like want to. I, did, I didn't want to give up that that Titanic reference. Uh, also, uh, so he, he said I'm doubling down. Also, to tell you how good I am, I also messed up and meant DiCaprio. But it came out the crappy and I was having to play it off. Look at the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Won't he do it? <laughs> all right, so all right, so you, Dev, you're on the you're on Jesse's side. You're suspended belief right now. Into further into further information come out. 
And now I will go. And mind, I'm going to preface this with, like I said last episode, I'm not on the police side at all as far as certain aspects. But this situation, I am. For the simple fact is, the story from the get-go was very, very stupid to me. From the jump. This man has said um, he was in Chicago at 2 o'clock in the morning, right? During a winter vortex. No, no, no. Yeah, let, let me get there. No, no, no. That's what it was called. Yeah, that, that that's literally what it was called. Oh, it was a like weather. That. It was a weather in uh, a weather. Which one to call it? Uh, say a storm. Or, or, um, no, epi- it, it was not a, epidemic. Uh, yeah, a, that's what it is. It's an epidemic. Okay. I, yeah, we actually ha- are in some kind of weird epidemic right now. It's not supposed to be as cold as it really is. Yeah, it's is. not supposed that's to be as cold. Gonna yeah, that's cool. It's affecting the Raleigh police. Yeah. The roll, good roll out those roll. Yes. I've re- I read about this the other day. It's affecting the Raleigh. We'll talk about that's going to be the blue pill, blue pill for this episode. So we'll talk about that the other day. Let's yeah, go. so check My this bad. out. So we we live in St. Louis and we know how cold it was during that time that it happened. It was uh it was 0 degrees here. So in Chicago at that time, it was negative 20 degrees during the daytime. So you can only imagine what it is at two o'clock in the morning. We all know at night the temperature drops. Right, right. It's two o'clock in the morning. From um, what his neighbors were saying, his neighbors were saying that he lives in a gay community. That whole area that he is is a gay community. So it's weird that at two o'clock in the morning in that community, two white men, two straight white men that are in that are for MAGA country will attack Jesse. Now, preference this. 2 o'clock in the morning, Jesse. Two white men in a gay community in Chicago okay. carrying a rope and bleach. Maybe there was like that one white guy who was Stop it. <laughs> rope <laughs> and bleach at 2 o'clock in the morning. First of all, you're that so you mean to tell me you're this racist that you're walking around in two o'clock in the morning saying, Let me go find somebody. I gotta find I know somebody is out this late. I know for a fact somebody out this late. I'm finna beat him up. I'm finna pour bleach on him. I'm gonna tire no- noose around his head. This man the first person he called was his manager. Which at first I was like, uh, eh, I get it, because the first person I'll call if I was ever attacked would probably Probably be my mother or my father. But at the same time, your manager. It just sounds like... You're trying to get some publicity. Yeah, it sounds like I'm trying to get some publicity. And from all of that, he's wearing, he's still wearing the noose when the cops come 45 minutes later. And then he takes them to the scene where he was like, it's a camera right here. If you just got beat up, got a noose, got bleach around all you, how would you even know to look up... I mean... I don't know if y'all. I don't know. I don't know if y'all ever got jumped or beat up or anything like that. I'm too great for that. I've never seen. <laughs> but if you have, you're not thinking about. Let me check. Uh, let me check and see if anybody caught this. Mind you, he might be. He's a celebrity, so he might think that way. But any sane person who just got beat up is not looking for no camera, especially at no two o'clock in the morning. They they call him for help. So he he goes to the place, says the camera's right here. Why do you know that it's a camera right here unless you st- did a stakeout before and then comes to find out that the camera is not even facing the street that you were that it, this all allegedly happened? It just it's just not adding up. And then I know I'm going on a long time, but this after all of this stuff came out, it's really getting on my nerves that he's do he's so. doubling down on it. Like you look you look you look stupid right now, and if. And if it all comes out that he is telling the truth, I will apologize. Right. I don't have any problem apologizing, but I feel like this is all so stupid that he go. Then he goes on his concert. He still has his concert. Of course. He's reading from a card about everything that's going, everything that happened. If all of this happened to you, why are you reading it? You would know for a fact what happened if it happened. Maybe he feels like trauma struck him. You know how he forgot the pieces or he wanted them. Stop it. 
I'm trying to play devil's advocate with you. I, I feel you, but it's not it's no plan it's not it's no plan two sides of the story. Like yeah, if you got job. if especially something that traumatic to where somebody poured bleach on you, ru- uh wrapped a noose around your head and beat you up, you think you will ever forget that? You will remember that for the rest of your life. Yeah. And and then his the the beatings the beating that he took, it didn't look like they really hurt him. He had a couple scrapes and all that. So it's not he they beat him up so bad that he could have lost his memory. So why are you reading a card? It just all sound really, really fishy. And then with the whole Good Morning America thing, that interview right there, that was fishy too. Because instead of him trying to plead his case really of how he felt was going on, he immediately attacks the people who don't believe him. Why do you care what other people are saying? You went on there for supposedly you went on there to explain what happened to you and how you felt, not how you feel that other people felt about you. It just all sound very fishy. I don't believe fishy, Jesse fishy. At all. Yeah, I don't believe Jesse at all. I feel like it's all a lie. And as far as the personal trainer thing. Yeah, you can have a personal trainer and all the messages can be true, but at the same time, you can also tell those personal trainers in the messages which they sent was he said, meet me, I want to talk to you about something, I need a favor from you. If you need a favor, if you say, if you got messages saying, I need a favor from you, and then all of this happened, and all evidence come out, and then you got all of this stuff that I said before, it's coming out. Why are we attacking... The Chicago police. If all the evidence is right in front of everybody, I just don't understand it. But that's all I have. Drew, can you follow that up for me? I... <clears throat> well, I don't mind if I do. Okay. <laughs> no, um, my uh, my whole view on the whole Jesse situation, Lord Jesus. <laughs> uh, I. Initially, I tried to stay uh, stay out of the view and out of the social media range and all of it mm-hmm. when it first came out. Um, I didn't want it to be a part of it because I knew, a piece of me knew how bad it could get if it turned out that he was telling the the lie of the year. Um, century. Damn, it's That'd only century. February. Yeah, it, it'll it'll century. actually be the yeah. It'll actually be the century. Um, a lot of century gonna be about getting this. Well, damn I want to say the century as in <laughs> as far as like two thousand, because um, the only reason I started to really step in it, and I'm going to speak to the LGBT community on this one because I was very very speak upset. To your homies. Uh, at some of the posts I've seen on Twitter, Instagram and or Facebook, um, there were several, several sexualizing posts of this scenario, which I thought was very, very degrading. What do you mean by that? A lot of the LGBTQ community have been sexualizing his two personal trainers oh, okay. as far as kidnapping him and running a train on him. First <laughs> off, if anything... Happen to any one of us in our community as far as a gay bashing, don't you ever in your right mind think that you can sexualize a gay bashing, whether it is a lie or not. You're downright filthy. And that's when I started to look into the whole situation, when I start seeing those posts, because I didn't know whether he was telling the truth or not. I still don't know. Um, I'm still on the fence of believing him. But what made me upset about the whole situation was the sexualizing of a gay bashing. With him lying, I feel that he's going to set back the LGBTQ community about 50 to 75 years as far as people believing the Me Too movement. That's why I was saying. That, you know what I'm saying? And he is a gay black man. You are also touching the Black Lives Matter movement. He make if this is a lie, he's making it bad for if if this is if this is a lie, which I which I hope is not. I ho- like I'm though I'm against Jesse if he is lying. I hope he's not lying because 
if he is lying, that's setting a lot of movements back. That is just like the boy who cried wolf. He's saying all this stuff. Now they're not going to believe the the gay community. They're not going to believe black people. They're not going to believe any prejudice acts that happen to anybody. He's going to be a Wikipedia reference forever. From with everyone that comes out, with finally, with abuse, with violence, with anything. He's going to be their reference. Are you telling the truth or are you being a Jesse? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna be the, that's that's gonna be gonna the phrase. Are you being Jesse right? It's not, it's, it'll no longer be the boy who cried wolf. It'll be, are you Jesse in right now? Literally. Are you are you being Jesse Lyon right now? That's what it be. We got a smallest scenario. Yep. What the fuck is they going to be saying? Scenario. That's Don't exactly what it be. So uh, my question is, if he is lying, which I really hope he's not, if he is lying, though, can he come back from it? I believe so. I believe we shouldn't condemn him for a lie. Um, as far as all of these, as if you look back about rape charges and accusation charges on rape or anything like that, there are so many white women, excuse me, the Caucasians out there. There are so many white women out there that have, I want to say, I'm going to give out a random false statistic. I like that. Because um, you know how people like to read sources. Um, say there have been 10 accusation rape charges in America a year. Four of those are real. Six of them are fake. Seven went through court. Six got charged. Actually, that, that, that sounds about right. Doesn't that right, sound though? real? <laughs> that sounds no, about right, sound though. That sounds about right. It's going to be reversed. Now you said, and I would say you said six got convicted. Mm-hmm. Five of them are black. Boom. Booyah. Those statistics are going to be reversed if Jesse tell a lie. Now, you said he can come back from this. Can he? I feel like That's we should. Said. I don't. I don't. Though I feel like. No. It ain't no. No. I, there's no way around. He should not be able to come. He, he should, should do some. He should do some Martha Stewart jail time. Yeah. He. 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 With definitely this white collar lie, he should, should have a able, white collar punishment. He definitely should be able to come back from this. People have came back from worse. <laughs> he can this, definitely this, come back from this. But. 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 He's an actor. What's going to help him come back from this? An iconic role. Yeah, they already written him off the last two episodes of Empire. He's going to need somebody, some director, to take faith and take pity in him and give him an iconic role. And if he does good at that role, he can come back from this. But that's honestly the only way. This is why I say... like, And what I I mean by that is, in order to come back from something, you have to give yourself to the people. He's an actor. This is why I say he cannot come back from this. He's an actor. And a musician. Mm-hmm. Oh, I ain't, I, 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 uh, believe it. I, mean, I thought I thought the com, com, uh, com, uh, musician was just the whole empire shit. No, nah, he's not he an actual musician. Music. He does music. Is he good? I ain't never listened to him. Yeah. Really. Okay, who? Okay, Drew, if you saying yeah, who do he sound like that we might know of? He can sing. You can tell from the show that he can sing. I've never seen an episode of Empire. I've seen five episodes. Damn. Maybe like a Miguel and Bruno Mars mixed with a young Chris Brown before he hit Rihanna. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, think of Trey songs with the braids. That's what Jesse kind of reminds me of. The I can't help but wait, Trey. Isn't that? (laughs) I can't help but wait, Trey. Yes. Okay. I gotta make it. Okay. (laughs) Now check this. This is why I say he can't make it. Right? He's a musician and an actor. And supposedly, click that. Click what? This? Nope, nope. Close it. Boom. Clicked it up. Yep. All right, so check this out. He's a musician and an actor, and all of this happened, supposedly, is because he wasn't getting paid. Right? Yes. So, if this is all happening because he's not getting paid, producers, directors, writers, in my opinion, would try to blackball him Hashtag Lee Daniels. That he's a whole different story. I don't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they would try to blackball him. Haven't done much research on Lee Daniels. I yeah. have. I've been. Mm-hmm. He. They would try to blackball him for the simple fact is that you're complaining about pay. If we know directors and producers and all that, 
they don't really care about paying. Like they, you get what we give you, pretty much. So yeah. if you complaining, now you doing a story, and if if it is a lie, then now another actor may do, and another musician may do, and now you got all. Basically, it's a strike. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a strike against the producers, the writers versus the that the creators. I mean, the creators versus the the workers. And now that you blackballed, how you, how are you gonna come back? You don't have a. If we keeping it real, he don't have a big enough fan base. Let's keep it a hundred. He doesn't. He does not have a big enough really? fan base. No. Outside the show of is Empire, not- he he only has a few indie films. Um, but and only only outside of that, he only has two LGBT films. So he even even inside his own community, he doesn't have that big of a fan base. He doesn't have a big enough fan base. And check this out. I do want to talk to you about something with the LGBT community and something about genders. I want you. I just want your opinion on something. Okay. You made me lose my train of thought. Okay, Sorry. he doesn't have enough. He doesn't have a big enough fan base. You said you don't watch Empire. Mm-hmm. I don't watch Empire. I, I'm guessing how many seasons? Like three, four, five. They're, they're five. on there. But then again, TV then again, just for the viewers, I mean for the listeners, I don't watch TV. Me either. Or Netflix. I watch sports, that's it. And I'm a you if 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 I can find it on YouTube, I'm gonna watch it then. But YouTube and anime is really what I'm watching. All right, but listen, check this out. It's not a Empire doesn't have that big of an audience either. Let's keep it a hundred with that. So if that you, I didn't know, I thought in, not they, anymore. They used to when they first okay. came out. First everybody was on. Everybody I was, saying, I was thought on. That's maybe why I said maybe I, I was just episodes. still mm-hmm. maybe I was just still like hung up on the hype. Yeah. No, the, no, hype, the hype has been gone. over after the first <laughs> one. Yeah, I after the know. first and second. I'll give it the second season. The hype been over. So, mm-hmm. with Empire not having an audience in itself, and you don't even have an audience, so your audience is smaller than the actual Empire audience. You mean to tell me that two white men <laughs> who are in MAGA country is watching Empire to even know who you are? They he said the um he said the the attacker said you're that uh that F word from uh Empire. You really think two racist white men even know what Empire is? What's the F word? That faggot from Empire? Yeah. I don't I don't I don't like saying that word. You don't like saying it, but I will. I mean, I don't. If I if I wanted to say it, like you know me, I don't have a problem. Saying I've anything. been I told like by it. my best friend sitting right across from me that as long as I ain't saying it disrespectfully, it's just like the nigga word. Ain't that what you said, Drew? I can confirm yeah. because a lot of you fags out there, you know, y'all call y'all friends fags, so get over it. Yeah, I get that. And you know me, I say whatever I want to say. I just I just <laughs> right. don't like that word. But um yeah, man, this, you mean to tell me these two white racist men knew what Empire is? You you're not famous, my nigga. Like you you're a celebrity in your own right, but nigga, you're not big. You're not a superstar to for two racist white men in Chicago in two o'clock in the morning to know that who you are. That don't that, that honestly don't mean a damn thing. That don't. The Parkland shooter still went into school and shot kids up. That has nothing no, to no, do with what it I'm does. Saying. It does when I when when I'm making this reference. People are gonna still attack you no matter who you are. So that means they could have definitely seen where he was at. It's a it's, it's a plausible story. No, no. Here's what I'm saying. Yeah, I get I they will attack whoever. Saying that, I'm saying they not, might not they might not know exactly where he was from. They might not know his celebrity status. What if they was watching him? Just no. playing devil's advocate. Listen, this Th- is what I'm saying. What about that too? You said what? What about that too? At two, uh, the the two racist guys, you suppose the racist guys. I get if you see, if you are a racist person and you see. A, I don't. Vic is putting up quotation marks on the podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that's just for us. That's just for I us. I know yeah, what yeah. you said. You know, it's possible. The two the two racist guys, right? Yeah. If they see a black person, they. They, they attack them because regardless if they know who they are or not. But Jesse said himself, they said, you're the F word from Empire. That means they know. Yeah, they know him. They yes. know him from Empire. So that sounds stupid to me. Or am I tripping? I, I can I can see it going both. I can see it going your way, especially where the way that the show is. 
where it's at now, I can maybe see them knowing him when it first came on because there are still memes out there from like from clips of the first few seasons. Mm -hmm. So I can maybe, especially if they may have like some kids or so that are always social media. And, <laughs> and um, I, can, I can see them possibly knowing what show he's from, but not knowing his fucking name, yeah. not knowing his character name. The yeah. guest stars on the show have bigger careers than a few of the main yeah. cast. Yeah. So, um... It just all sounds silly to me. Like, I would... I didn't even... The part that he said, uh, you're that guy from Empire and this is MAGA country, I, was, I wasn't even paying attention to that because I immediately muted the whole situation after he said he was attacked at 2 o'clock in the morning in negative 20 degree weather. Anything you say after that is ridiculous to me. Though it may be true, like I said, if it is true, I will come on and apologize. And I'm like, man, look, I was, I jumped the gun. But I don't feel like I'm jumping the gun now because enough facts came out. And this is what we got. That ain't it, Chief. I'm sorry. Where do you think the holes came from then? Like the the holes? holes? Yeah, like the other evidence, like the text messages. What, what, do, what does, what does him having these personal trainers text him about a workout have to do with him saying, meet me, I need you to do me a favor. I believe that his managers might have overstepped his own PR move, and now there's too much information out. And the main story, which we probably already know, it has too many loose ends. Now this main story, we don't even know, we don't know if we have the truth or not, but the truth may already be out there for us. But there's too much he said, she said, based on Jesse, the managers, and the police, we can't pinpoint where the main story lies. I feel the main story is already out there, but I feel like there's, all, there's too many other lies on top of the main story. How do you, N fi how do you feel about the the brothers not coming out and saying this is not true. I believe. And I believe. The it, I think. I think it has. I think it has, I think it has a lot to do. I think it has a lot to do yeah, with the media. Me. I think it has a lot to do with the media, okay. because he is a part of the LGBT community. I can see them not wanting to be all the way a part of this. I can see them going back and forth of should we go all the way in with the info or should we hold back? Because no one, in my head, this is what I'm thinking, no one straight wants to be a part of a gay fi fiasco, mm -hmm. especially when you're a celebrity or you're working in that celebrity world. Because I'm pretty sure they have other clients right. That don't, they may not want to be even a part of their training course or, or a part of their clientele now that they have this fiasco a part of them. So, why would Jesse say it was white men and it's black men that it actually happened with? This is where I feel that the managers overstepped his own PR move. And this is where I, this, that's where I feel where it started with too much information is getting put out. This is where I feel the loose end. Now we don't know which end is the real end and which end is loose. So Cuz I feel like that I feel like he he started to stop l listening to himself and started to listen to his management team, his PR team, so they could try to pull his ass out of there. Cuz I feel like they didn't believe him. Yeah. So I feel like they stepped over them over him and now he got this whole fucked up scenario. So do you feel like he actually he actually planned all this, but it got messed up. I can see him planning this, yeah. Or I can see him. So basically, it's I like can see him using a fucked up time. A publicity stunt. Gone as a wrong. publicity stunt, yeah. yes. I can That's see him using a fucked up time as a, oh, fuck, I'm in a scenario with, damn, let me use this as to my advantage. My manager's like, oh, no, we're not finna do this, we're finna do this. Oh, shit, now we got boom, 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 all out here. Because so, everyone's thinking at once. That's what I'm saying. At the end of the day, <clears throat> From what I get from you, and if I'm wrong, just correct me. 
we feel like Jesse is lying. Yeah. So does he deserve, uh, deserve jail time? Yes. Because you're, you're, we- okay. you're weaponizing what? What? movements. Wait, wait. I feel, like, wait. Okay, I feel so like he deserves justice. Let me crush some of the memes when that's he been tells out, the though, truth. about how um, Jesse in jail for a false police, uh, police report, but like barbecue Becky ain't. And exactly. the white folks That's who right. called the police and shit on ain't. You got to remember, calling the police is completely different than filling out a false police report. Two different things. I can call the police right now, and it won't be a false police report, even if everything I tell them ain't real. Now he can. It you got to actually fill out a, as a felony, and all he would have to do is pay fines. He is if, if he has the right team with him. It can be classified as just a felony with about $50,000 worth of fines. Holy I'm, shit, though, but that's better than Bill Cosby jail. Yeah. Not Bill Cosby jail, but yeah. And this is, this is why I say he, he, in my opinion, he should never come back because he's weaponizing movements. You're weaponizing the MAGA country. You're I know what I'm going to name this episode. Matter, uh, country. I smell a lot of lies. <laughs> I smell a lot of lies. <laughs> you are horrible. I smell. Hey, Nigel told me my podcast. I'm the one who makes the titles, okay? Nigel not. told me this week. He was like, "Bro, your pod, your title episodes are nice." Shout out to Nigel. Yeah, I miss you. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all miss this whole thing. Like, these awkward silences, my eyes is going to the person getting closer to the mic. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what he finna say? Oh, okay, what he finna say? <laughs> no, but this whole thing is BS. And he's weaponizing different movement, blah, blah, different movements. That's why I feel like he should never be able to come back from it. Didn't Monique just weaponize the movement last year? Which, move, which movement she weaponized? The fat girl movement? She would like to see it. <laughs> I missed the joke. Oh. It was a couple with her. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was a couple with her. What happened? I missed it. No, that's uh, that's what Monique was uh, known for when she was trying to come back to get that Netflix check. She would like to see it. <laughs> How y'all feel? feel we, ne- we never talked about that Monique situation. Because that happened hellas ago. Brother. Hellas ago. Uh, How did y'all feel about that? I feel like she deserved her coin. I feel like I feel like you got to be funny. No matter how Have long you, she, she's, I feel like Monique is funny. She's she just has been doing slightly more dramatic roles. Hashtag Blackbird. Hashtag Precious. Oh yeah, Precious. Okay, people who don't know Blackbird, look up Patrick Ian Polk. You will enjoy the documentary. I don't necessarily think she was blackballed, but then again, I don't know the whole situation, so that's just my I take. I she um, she was getting like 500000 They were uh, for her Netflix special compared to Dave Chappelle and Cat Williams and uh, Tracy Morgan who were getting like 5 to $10 million contracts. I understand even that. Now, got a million. Even D-Ray. Yeah, even D-Ray Davis. I understand that, but was she I'm not popular? Now, this is and where was I, she popular at the time? This is where I leaned on her side. Amy Schumer got $3 million. Amy Schumer also no, did a worldwide... She got way more. Okay, Amy I Schumer apologize. also did a worldwide tour before I don't then. care what Thank you me. say. Amy Schumer. You gotta care because it adds more to your value. Now listen. Well, you, hold on, wait, Drew. Not just you as you. You are still an artist. You gotta understand your value. You're an artist your damn self. You gotta understand the value. If you're not valuable, when it comes to being an artist, you're basically a salesman before yourself. For your imaginative abilities, I feel like Monique was more, was more value uh, for five hundred thousand. When she, right, well, she had way you more value. You feel like it, Be- but I, if, the people I, if, who if bought out up, Amy Schumer shit and didn't buy Monique shit feel that. Let me tell you. Let me let, let me let me explain this to you. Can I just say what movement she went for for the Freedom Search Young movement. Yeah, she was against the Equal Pay movement. Um, she said that whenever Netflix responded to her resume, they claimed they only used sold out arenas for their um, ideas instead of actually looking at the big summer block- blockbuster movies to justify her offer. All right, so check this out. She hasn't done any comedy specials in years. All right, so now, now, now check this out. She won a Oscar, right? 
and she tried to uh, she tried to use that in her, to her advantage. That Oscar nomination was not for comedy; it was for a drama. Yeah, she's not. She was not selling out arenas. She wasn't selling out her tour. Amy Schumer was selling out not just an uh, a nationwide tour. She sold out a worldwide tour. Worldwide. And the and as far as Netflix comedies go, it's not a. Uh, it is accolades, but at the same time, it's a what have you done for me lately? She has not done anything comedic wise that that resembled her getting paid hella money. Now, with that being said, she could have pitched it to another network. Definitely could have, but she didn't. They at from uh, from my understanding. They are we wait wait wait? I just. Are we considering Netflix a network now? Yes, Netflix is definitely yeah, a network. Just like Amazon. They put Amazon out is a network content. and everything. Okay. They put out original content. Now, I just I just didn't know we putting Netflix on HBO level. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, she could have renegotiated as well. Usually in these situations, they give you an offer. You say you don't want that offer. You counter it with another offer. She never countered it. She, she did felt it. disrespected, and she just said, to hell with him. Now, I feel like the way she went about it was completely reversed. Come on, Corbin Red. Who in the hell is going to boycott For, honestly, Netflix? I honestly, I, I was back and forth with her with this situation on between every TV show she was on. Between every show and every post she would make, I was with her, then I was against her. I said, damn, bitch. Can I can I keep up with you? Like <laughs> stop changing. But it was when she went on Steve Harvey's show. Mm-hmm. That's when I was like, okay, I was Explain for her. Explain that because I never seen it. Oh I God, heard, I heard stories. It, was that it. the most recent? It yeah, was the, the most, most recent. recent. And um, because I was I was against it for a very long time. I'm like Monique, you need to get it together. You've been doing films now for a very long time. You haven't been doing comedy specials. I've been watching all her, you know, her films, and they've been dramatic roles. I don't mean to cut you off, but no, real good. quick. She had a Netflix special on. It wasn't a Netflix special, but she had a special on Netflix. Wasn't doing the numbers, but go ahead. That's another w- reason why. That's another reason why they didn't they didn't offer her that much because you you have a special are on here already. It's not doing numbers. But go ahead, Steve Harvey. No, honestly. Um, Monique and Steve Harvey had a very it became very heated because she was trying to explain to him that none of her brothers and sisters in the Hollywood world was there for her when she was trying to cry for help. Mm. And it took a long time, but Steve finally convinced her that yes, although I may not have been there for you like I should have, and I should have called you when I first heard about this scenario, but he convinced her that she went about it wrong. And it took Steve and the audience that whole that whole hour. And I can, I can imagine that was edited down. I can imagine that was about three to four hour conversation. She's so stubborn. Because she's very, very, her heart is very, very, is, is, is very, it's still plated. I don't want to call her hard headed because she's, she's just a strong woman when she believes in something. And that's one thing everyone always loved about Monique. When she feels some way, she gonna say it, yeah. you know. But she, it, it took a, it took a few celebrities to get through to her. And I hope now, I hope she kind of, I hope that she re- renegotiates with Netflix now. Her special, because I know that they are real. I know that they are real negotiate. I know that they are bring it up. If they do renegotiate and she do have a Netflix special. It will be one of the biggest Netflix specials they've had. And here's why I said not because she's so funny. Because of all of the publicity. And think about it. She could she can do so much with this Netflix mm-hmm. special. She can call it Blackball. Have the special name Blackball show up in a, a all black dress or have a all black gown or something on. Oh, she can she definitely can, she capitalize can twi- on yeah, this. Yeah, she can like definitely capitalize on it. But she That's has to I'm go hoping. about it the right way. I think that talk with Steve really got through to her. And yeah, now nah, she still she got her husband in her corner. Yeah. She still do? Now that she still got her husband. Like he said, he thinks you go the right way. Now she still got her husband in her corner. Yeah. Why? 
just how like she he's her manager and look how where she at now. Well, she he uh I I, I can't disagree with that because he been her manager and she, he made he got her some big moves. He been her manager and look where she's been at now. Like she's still being blackballed. Well, that's not his fault. That's her fault for how she act on set. If I take you as my manager, the first thing you should do is find out why and get rid of it. Well, he found out why, and she know why because personally, all the I, producers per, okay. and directors well, have told her. Personally, personally, I think as a manager, the first thing he should have done is find out why and got rid of it before. Like she shouldn't have had to go on the Steve Harvey show. Check this out. I'm your manager. You've been acting a fool on these sets. I tell you. He's my manager. Okay. He is. Yeah. He All is. right. Drew's your manager. He found out from directors, producers, writers uh, that you've been acting a fool on a set. And he's telling you, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Chill out. You still go do you. I mean, I'm here to manage you, but I can't control your actions. You need to get your shit together. Instance. Exactly. <laughs> you, I can, I can scream at the top of my lungs, dude. You messing the money up. You know the funny thing is, if Drew ever told you, you need to get your shit together. I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it. it don't if sound you, like it don't <laughs> sound like a suggestion. It sounds like a threat. Like <laughs> if hey. you don't, <laughs> no, there will be consequences. Yeah, but basically, you're saying that she's take fault for some of it too. Yeah, like yeah. I can scream at the top but of my I lungs. Think, you I think, doing it I wrong. think Steve. I think he, she understood a piece of that. I think because he, he told her like he yelled at her basically, and that's what she got defensive. Hold on, neck. I, I I think I think a lot of that I didn't I don't like Steve Harvey, so I always got to think I think a lot of that bullshit was do not do Mr. Harvey. But you know the black community loves him. He loves families. Man, fuck uh, in the words of Tyler the Creator, fuck Steve Harvey, man. Steve Harvey's a sorry ass nigga. The black community is fifty fifty on Steve. Huh? The yeah. Black community is 50, 50 on because Steve. we see him for his bullshit, but we see what he's done. He's helped the community. Yeah. It's like it's like he's thanks like, for helping. Nigga, he's a drug. A nigga, he's a classic drug dealer. He's helped the community, but he's also harmed the community. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's fairly accurate. Yeah. Like the the drug, the classic drug dealers, not the new age niggas. They selling crack, but at Thanksgiving time, they got them turkeys ready for your moms turkeys. to come pick them up. Yeah, hey, that's fairly accurate. So it's like he just an entertainment drug dealer. We also, since you said crack, we also have to patent. Brought to you by hashtag crack is whack. <laughs> oh. R.P. <I'm>, Whitney. Also, <laughs> I was just saying I make too much money to ever smoke crack. <laughs> crack is whack. Now, but what else we got? We had the Jesse Smollett. We touched on Monique, even though that was random as hell. Fuck, yeah, where the fuck Monique even come from? What do y'all feel about the whole um, censorship? You talking oh, about yeah, on Tumblr? In the group chat. No, uh, it's all social media all platforms. All social media. Wait a minute, right? all you, of them? Yeah, yes. and YouTube okay. is a social media platform. I would like to speak on this. Oh, if you don't like, uh, because right as of right now, Apple is trying to so uh, is Apple is Apple. trying to censor um hate speech, which I'm I'm against. Wait a minute, I like to talk about ugly people. Due to the fact <laughs> of me being a writer. What? Oh, we're not gonna skip past that. <laughs> what? That's not fair. Okay, so like, for people who like to write about what they want and don't give a fuck about who sees what, download Word. What is it? It's called WordPress. It's a beautiful blog website app wow. that creates. Are, are we being asked to pay for this? Lovely. Are they? Are they paying for? Are, no, they're not. Say, we got sponsored. No, but we will. Oh, okay, okay. We will. There you go. Um, no, but um, I have, I had a Tumblr, 13,000 beautiful followers. If you're following Sex Me Bad or if you're following 21st Century Hippie, I love you. I lost you all due to the <laughs> December 17th censorship of Tumblr. Real quick, oh, what is Tumblr? Tumblr? Tumblr is a beautiful palace. <laughs> of whatever the fuck you want it to be. It's like a blog? It's literally, yeah, you can create a blog and you can literally make it be about anything. Is it pictures um, or are you posting? You can things? post pictures, videos, uh, uh, blogs, um, little po uh, writing posts, okay. um, novellas, uh, porn, videos, 
music, uh, all type had of to put out porn, from didn't witch, he, witchcraft. Um, it's literally awesome. Uh, with uh, well, it used to be awesome. Um, it's better than Facebook. It's way better than Facebook. Oh my God. Well, it was before the censorship. Before the censorship. Um, bring back the nipples. Before the censorship war. Now that's see, the, I thought Tumblr was a porn. That's why I asked what it was. I thought. Whoa. No. Okay. It was a porn so site. no. Because I mean, okay. Used to say I mean, you can get a good porn this is why, on Tumblr, this but is it's why not I have a two Tumblrs. Site. I have one that got me through college. Hashtag sex me bad. And I got the other one that I love, post all type of silly crap like kittens. I post my Chihuahua Frost on there. Ugly ass dog. He is a beautiful dog. You mother. got the ugliest dog okay, in the world. Okay, so this is a quick, quick little story of my show Vic, Frost. Show Vic a picture of your dog. dog. Actually. Dog, br- Vic. Why is that your screen saver? Are you mad that R. Kelly's mugshot is my lock screen and Jesse Smollett's mugshot is my home screen? <laughs> That's hella wow. funny. Why? <laughs> Hashtag Chicago. No. Um, <laughs> let me go. <laughs> See, you got me fucked up. I thought up. he was playing. No, he no. is. His screensaver is uh, shots. Yeah, honestly. This is your best friend. Uh, this is my best friend. <laughs> he said, yeah. This is my best friend. This is my chihuahua. This is my best friend in the whole my world. My best friend in the whole world. I say this with oh. all respect. This is the ugliest dog I've ever seen. It was an ugly dog. <laughs> I almost <laughs> attacked him. That's an ugly dog, man. It's an ugly dog. Good thing I know how to retain my emotions. <laughs> ugly um, little boy. Honestly, so no. Um, I I saved uh, I I saved Frost from a puppy mill down oh. in Georgia, and me and sure my. You should have saved him. I, okay, fuck off. And, um, don't save I him. saved him. I you did. Don't be saved. And uh, me and my me and my fiance at the time we uh we reported we were we were recording and taking pics and everything of the place. It was actually horrid, I, and I never thought that I would experience something like that. We um we got them literally locked up a week later, and we were on like on the uh, Fox Five News. It was in Atlanta, and um it was great. Um they asked me did I purchase any animals. I said, oh, no, officer, the, the, the environment was horrible. I, I kept frosting my book bag. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he was, so adult. Yo, no, was he was two deal. weeks old mm. and he was f- in, covered in fleas. We took him to the animal hospital and um, they gave me, you know, the proper medication and everything. And, uh, and now he's going on three years old and I fucking love him. Like talking to the cop and now you hear the dog in the back. Yo, <laughs> I fucking it's, love my dog, though, It's yo. how much you sound like the most concerned gay guy. <laughs> Every gay person with an animal literally knows how I feel. Oh, you sound like the most concerned gay I saved him from the pal. But honestly, <laughs> though, if you see a puppy mill, report that shit and the save the animals. The fuck is a puppy mill? Man, okay, so we drove like two and a we half hours Louis, south. We in St. Louis. We don't do that shit. I know. That no, no, no. We shit? drove like two and a half hours south of Atlanta. Will this you tell like, them certain shit in St. Louis yeah, we I don't do? It's bad, yo. So, I've heard of a puppy mill, but I don't know what the fuck Okay, it so is. we went to her house, and in her backyard, she had like these old wooden doors that like they were literally on the ground, and you open them up, and it just smelled like death. <laughs> Dead dogs? And no, yo, like I, I bet, I shit you not, she probably did have some there. Um, she had her basement full of like all fucking hay, and she made these fucking pens. There were six pens. Sound like an episode of Hoarders. Yo, it was bad. Why like, she got so many puppies? There were like <laughs> four so different. Concerned? Yo, he, he's so fucked up. <laughs> he full of shit. If, if no, because they know how to. I, I don't like animals. Frost, I mean, uh, Tyree doesn't like shit about an animal. Um, but she had like but why four you got different so many puppies. She like, had all, like four different breeds. Bitch, that's a lot of puppy chat. And there was so ma- there was shit and and just disgustingness everywhere. We were just recording and taking pics and shit and uh fucking fat ass nigga. Yo, fuck yeah. <laughs> you say yeah and yo <laughs> your point. Fuck yeah. I love I'm animals. Pet- man. I'm Peter. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, fuck Peter. Peter. No, nah, fuck Peter. Peter. Fuck Peter. Peter do some nest. They do some fucked up hey, shit. Hey man, that disrespect to Steve Irwin, man. Let's get back to the task at hand. Tumblr. Tumblr. I thought it was a porn site. Oh, apparently honestly, it's that's not. what I was showing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's not. Uh, this your screensaver is killing me right now. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's killing Sorry. me right now. This man. Jesse and R. Kelly has the most stale face mugshots. They wearing the same clothes, ain't they? 
They in the same oh, jail. Oh, no, uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I like, ain't, ain't that the same? They um, in the same jail. Well, I kind of, I kind of can't. Sh- I kind of don't want to show y'all, but I just show y'all the main screen of my one Tumblr. Third eye uh, open since birth. This, yeah, basically. Is that third eye your penis? Whatever <laughs> you want it to be, bro. Whatever I you want it to be. This nigga. And hey, that cover uh, is dope as hell. Uh, but yeah. Oh, it is when I was in L.A. Tyree, you remember my hair was like this? Oh, you was the cutest thing ever. I was hella gay back then. Oh, God almighty. Toned yeah, toned down. Oh, okay. You see 40. me with any color hair? 40. <gasps> and gay years. years. I know, he just added. <laughs> you know, gay niggas age early. <laughs> gay niggas age early. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I Not do. all of us. If gay niggas kill- age at least four <laughs> years older if than straight If you kill man. six people before you 21, you good to go. Gay niggas age you at least four go. years yeah. older than the straight yeah. man. You good to go. You don't and I say that because every good. gay nigga I know outside of Drew be fucking with niggas like four, five, ten years older than them. Exactly. Did you not hear what I gay just said? Gay niggas age four years older than stress. straight Terry niggas. That's why I say I feel like it's stress. Terry don't know so like, Y'all don't know nothing about the community. I know, but I, Drew 25, I like, but he really... 29. <laughs> I would feel like... I'm really 74 if you really want to know about me. Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like but they that, age or, uh, age more because... That's because we have, to, we have to mature faster than straight people. That's one thing that a lot of people don't know, that gay people have to mature sh- faster than straight people because we have to keep a lot more secrets than y'all could ever imagine. Thank keep you. hope At alive. At the most youngest of ages, okay? There, and this is, this is more than just the black community. This is everybody. Okay, every, we got to keep a lot of shit and we got to have multiple personalities and shit before we able to come out and be all glitterified and whatever the fuck you want to be. Is this for me? We going to get back to Tumblr, but I do uh, want to yeah. ask you a question. When did, what age did you realize that you was gay? Damn, I'm one of those, uh, uh, what do you want? What do I want to call? You make up a word? Yeah, I want to make up a word. I want to know damn, uh, conversion gays. Yeah, I used to be straight. Michael Pence helped you well, turn gay? I'm going to tell you this. Wow. Wow. Michael Pence? That's hilarious. Who was that? You talking about the VP of this place? Yeah. That's he into a... conversion therapy. No. But without her, cut, you know he is a fag. That's hilarious. Okay, hashtag let's delete this piece of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Timestamp. Okay. <laughs> Honestly. But no, um, I want to say... I slowly started to see myself attracted to dudes, maybe like four, 14, 15. And then one day he randomly but called me. He I was like, never, Ty, like, you know, you cute, bro. But I, no, I'm why like, the <laughs> fuck I didn't? You always been ugly. Wait a Okay, let me know. I don't even want to say <laughs> that all up on Thank you. Finally, somebody else said it. Wait a minute. So that mean you, wait. Well, I just went up. Okay, let me tell like, y'all yeah, this. <laughs> that mean you gay too because you find me ugly. What? That just means he knows what an attractive nigga is. And you ain't it. I can steal any woman he ever had. Except uh-huh. one. Yeah, we might we might have to time. Except stamp. one. This one. I say except two. Uh, no, I uh I I think I started saying like okay, I know who my first like No, I even was. give him three. And it's fucked but up I, that y'all call I me. I give him Corbin three, Red. but that's probably all he ever Corbin had. Blue was my like first like dude crush. And it was high school. No, it was flight twenty nine down. Corbin I, Blue. Yes. They've been together for the longest. So you was like, you know what? I want to be Corbin no, Red. I don't look like the nigga, but Sorry, I knew. Too. But <laughs> this is this is when I knew I. Bet on when I it. Bet on it. You with. can't F- bet F- on. Uh, it is. Thank you. All right, sure. What is? What is it? Uh, for the HSM fans, that was Troy Bolton. Get your get your head in the game. Gotta get you get your get your head in the game. I'm finna fucking freak out. Why am I feeling so wrong? No, my head's in the game. So we can't go. But my heart's in the song. Can we finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you make it feel so I was hella confused during High School Musical because I had a huge fucking crush on Ashley Tisdale and Corbin Blue. Oh, no. you hella gay. <laughs> okay. You hella gay. I know, well, you hella gay and you ain't got was, no taste. When I was straight, man, it don't matter. I am who I am now. But back then... <laughs> Bro, so and that's why I love you. Back then, man, I, I had... I used to read this magazine called J14, which was like a teen magazine. I remember. You remember that? Yes, I, I had so many fucking poster pictures of Ashley and Corbin. They were literally right side by side next to each other everywhere. Vanessa Hutchins. They yes, were. Yes, Tyree loved Vanessa. Oh, you remember that? Oh. 
Man. She's a cute one, though. Yeah. She yeah, is the finest thing. But I and then I seen I didn't have my first dude Zendaya, kiss until and I realized I was... how young Zendaya was. And I'm like, I'm I didn't have my torn. first dude kiss until I was 17. I had skipped school, and uh, you skipped school, school to kiss school. a nigga. You how? Wait, I didn't know what was going to happen. I skipped school, and we was playing a game for some titties. And uh, oh god, whatever. We was playing a game. So you skip school for Mortal Kombat and, and dick. We was playing like a dare with the game. Like if you lose, whatever. <laughs> you skip school for Mortal Kombat and dick. No, we was playing like Smash Bros. <laughs> that sounds so gay. <laughs> we, we was playing Smash Bros. <laughs> the real life version. <laughs> but go ahead. I was 17, yo. I was confused as fuck. <sighs> yeah, and then it was, I was 19 when I officially knew who I was. You made the cross. How yeah. old are you? I, I still had to been answered. 25. I'm oh, 25 okay. Now. He's, damn. I'm gonna be 26 this year. Mm -hmm. God, I'm feeling oh. old. He's literally a day before me, but a year. All right, you're still older by a year. How old are you? I would have been older regardless. I'm 26. Yeah. 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 I'm like, what? I He's been literally older. no, because I literally got to remember you yeah. got a whole year and a day, and not just a day. Oh, uh, okay. He drunk right now. That's why. I'm not. Hell or not. You hell or not. Devin. I promise you, it's not. <laughs> not at all. Are right, you buzzed then? You hella buzz. You slurring like a mug. Devin? Right now, bro. Like, you don't understand. No, I'm not finna. No, and just because Devin said it, I no. believe a Drew. lot of Devin said what? it. But if he slurs. These he niggas been around me way more drunk. Not. I have a list, bro. Badass list. No, not, not Do like you know this, how bad bro. our list is? <laughs> Especially if we really get talking, talking. We when I get excited life. in the conversation, that motherfucker just be flying. I get excited in the conversation, I be... Yeah, you sure? <laughs> Niggas. I, I caught myself with a whole tongue twister earlier and at work. Like, I could tank, like, Leave shit. a comment. Let me stop. Let at me calm us down. Or whatever. Let us know, because I know I'm not tripping. Does this nigga sound buzz or something? I don't know him, though. <sighs> Leave a comment if you know how to bounce that ass. Hashtag. Leave some likes if you know how to bounce that ass. Not some likes. Don't make, don't make mockery of my voice. That's fucked up. I gotta do that that the straight all state commercial guy. You the gay all state commercial guy. Hey. What's <laughs> Are you in good hands? I don't, I don't, when you're in good hands. Vic is if you got only got live. This is actually you know, wow. you know you so sure funny? you in good hands? I don't have a deep voice. No, no, no. I used to answer the phone when I used to work at the hotel, I used to work at in hospitality for five years. And when I used to work at the hashtag Hilton, I miss y'all. Uh, when I used to work at the front desk, I'm not going to lie. That's when you was working with fine ass, right? You talking about Ashley? No, the other fine ass. Uh, Delilah. The, I don't want to say her name on the podcast. Des, but um, you know who I'm talking about. Which which hotel? You know I changed pull, properties. While, we, while, while, while somebody else talk, I'm going to pull up her damn socials. Oh, God. Well, her okay, fucking yeah, I'm, I'm fine story, ass. Man. Um, but no, um, Drew, look, the re hold on, wait. For all y'all straight niggas out there, get y'all a gay best friend, dog. Did them nigg no, them niggas got the secrets one. to all the fucking fine ass girls. For all the gay guys out there, get you a get you a. I say get you a gay. And the thing <laughs> about having a gay best friend, perfect wingman, Honestly, because the gay are. the the straight girls gonna vent to them about. How these niggas they ain't shit. None of that. Us. No, but um, all the gay dudes, get you a straight best friend because you can literally treat him like your boyfriend and you don't even have to touch him. It's the it's the best time. You can hug up on him and you don't have to like have like a commitment, especially if you don't like commitment because I don't fuck with commitment. So this is my this is my boyfriend. Whatever he need, I can do for him. Vic is on, nigga. I mean, Drew is, on, Drew is only my boyfriend if some shit happens and some bitch. Me Too movement Boy. type shit comes. And I got to look, bro, I've been gay for like 15 years. Y'all gonna hold hands at all? If it comes down to it. Oh, y'all be so cute. Y'all can match. I'm not going with we that shit. Never, I got a bright future. We would not future. be a cute couple. Are you kidding me? You I got a... Match and make it look, look me and I got a bright future. A if something happens, I'm I've been not, gay. I'm all on your chair and shit. My bad. And I expect every girl I've ever had sex with be like, you know what? They'll be all right I with it. it. <laughs> I believe it. I want it. everybody to be all right with and it. And now that I think about it, do you know I'm just I... not going with that Me Too now shit. I wonder why he never had a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. I, it, make, it all it makes, makes sense, sense now. No. Now, what, 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 what the hell are I finding? No, I used, to, um, I used to always answer the phone. What I don't know how to pronounce her damn Instagram name. name. Yeah, I used to always uh, use my voice. They used to love it. Yeah, Oh, my manager, Katie, used to fucking love it. Drew. 
fucking you. I'm like, yeah, bitch, what you need? Really? That's mm. what you sound like first. Question. She's skinny, Drew. Where the hell she what? at? You had your little deep voice. Yeah. Like, oh. I know everybody. Be, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm too tall for this but you know what though? I can change my voice. You you know that. That's why. Oh, yeah. That's why it's fun having multiple personalities. I got six personalities. I don't think you should tell people that. Why not? I There's Martin. Good. He's the straight one when I get drunk. Okay. Steven, the slut. Straight. Wait, okay. stop. Luann. But Queen, I'm straight. straight. Yeah, yeah. I was like, you become straight when you drunk. Yeah. yeah. Are you mad? Yeah. No, I'm confused. No. That's on you. I'm not. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <I'm not. laughs> you said you got Why? different personalities. Why? When that? When I decide to get married. Why would all my personalities all right, be gay? When I decide to get married. We just share a body. He has to like me. We already decided. He he got to flirt with a girl that night. I don't know what happens. What's going to happen? I'm going to have to get drunk. That's when Martin I just need out. my nigga wow. to be with a girl that night. And he understand me. No, I'm I'm saying it because I don't understand the LGB. I, like, not that I'm like, I don't understand, but I'm just like. He doesn't understand don't gays. Understand. In his book, gays like are an abomination. Stop, don't do that, bro. We're like mermaids <laughs> and cool. unicorns. He Christian, too. That's Pegasi. the funny thing. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm Baptist. BT Dubs. You're still Christian, nigga. I'm Baptist. Uh, I am too. With a half of a, with, I'm Baptist with a splash of a witch. For those out there, you know where to find me. St. Louis Baby Dubs. This man is plugging. <laughs> like, if y'all want somebody, look at me. <laughs> Come find me, Vegas. I'm in St. Louis and I'm trapped. I'm gonna find my coven. All right, back to Tumblr. Oh yeah, it's a great place. It used to be a great place. Oh, no, and the censorship, yeah. Um, so yeah, they, um, they censored it December 17th, 16th, and, um, it okay, was, oh, you know what? Year? Yeah, it's, yeah, it, yeah, it was, last it's year. a Let big day. Like, there's, there's, there were so many posts. It's one of those internet hilarious. dates in history where niggas who was on Tum- Tumblr are definitely gonna remember. It's like when MySpace died. Yeah. It's yeah, so yeah, true. Yeah, and I didn't even know about Bro, when Bebo I, died. I, and you know now. Oh, Bebo. Yeah, I didn't know nothing about Tumblr, but when everybody, when I, when they, act, the censorship actually happened, that's when I was like, oh, they man, they closing was. down porn sites? I'm finna, I don't no, know what I'm finna sites. do with my life. I know, but I thought it was a porn site. Here we go. I only use, life was over. I only use one porn site. XNXX. Or porn X-Hub. Hub. I mean, Pornhub. Pornhub is for the high quality. Not the high quality. Y'all know how I feel about porn, so. I'm not I, gonna keep going. I keep some downloaded to my Sorry, phone just in case I don't have Wi-Fi? internet access. Why am I not hooked up to the Wi-Fi? What, what is this? What is this m- magic? We dropped all gay people from our Wi-Fi. Do you see this shit? I do. Straight, n- straight niggas only. I guess I gotta get drunk so Martin can come out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pass the wine. I thought the straight, I thought the straight <laughs> side of you was Andy. No, Andy's when I feel gay. Or oh, Drewski. Or Drewski. No, that's only when I'm in Atlanta. Fuck this place. Oh, that's an unstable place. Got it. Got so it. you're not from here? No, I'm from here. But, but my then... soul's from Atlanta. Yeah. That's where my brothers... All my brothers from UA, I miss y'all. Oh. So you're going to share this with your Atlanta friends, get us some gay Hell problems? Yeah. Are you mad? You don't want gay people listening to you? I ain't say that. We need all the followers. Do you That's not it. want That's gay people listening line. to you? That's your go-to Are you mad? That's your go-to line. Yeah. No, it's are either, it's either are, you, are you pressed or are you mad? Hey, you, you can get us some gay followers. Hey, sweethearts. Sweetheart. Actually, for those who are listening, he is a five foot nine chocolate idiot. And he... <laughs> go on. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Okay, so I this hate is him. a depiction of what happened to Tumblr. I like women, women, women. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. We are currently watching a video of this Pirates of the Caribbean parody. Not Pirates of the Caribbean. We? Yes. He. You can talk, Terry. That's hella funny. What is going on right now? show you guys in a minute it's it's the, it's the decline of tumblr the uh pirates of the caribbean clip i'm pretty sure you can youtube it youtube it yeah we def- i'm pretty sure everyone who knows tumblr they've seen this it's literally been reblogged I, over a million times he it's, looks so stressed so, what, so what, <laughs> let me so guess is the actual like pirates of the caribbean last like at words at words end clip yeah, yeah yeah well not an end clip that's hella funny if you don't know what it is, go on YouTube and uh, type in 
Pirates of the Caribbean and Tumblr. I'm pretty sure it'll probably I remember be that scene. Sure. It'll probably be a, the big old famous I'm going down with my ship scene. Yeah. Clip. Fuck yeah. that abandoned ship, nigga. So what do you do on Tumblr now that it's you're it's, censored? Uh, everything is okay. So let me try to show show a censored post. I I really do not like this censorship stuff. Hate speech. I can see no, they haven't caught everything. Extent. That's the good thing. They haven't caught all of the porn and all of the artists and all of the blogs. They haven't caught everyone. Um, that's the good thing. Just okay, don't get the so gay news. when it's when it's blocked, it looks like this, and you can't see anything on that if post I whatsoever. If I wrote you, you a symphony, would you say how much they you have blocked me? everything? Oh, that's so wack. Anything with a nipple. It's literally I see gone. Your so I see, um, like on IG, if something is insensitive or something like that, they got the the eye with the slash in the middle, uh, with the middle. And now, you okay, okay, eye. okay. Let's go with, let's go from that. Do you think social media sites should be censoring us? To a certain extent, yes. Not on Twitter. What do you mean? To a, what? What do you mean to a certain extent? Not you, on Twitter. Hold on, wait. Let's go one at a time. You go certain first. Certain extent. Um, some things, it's not that I followed it. Hold on, let me, from, let me, what, from where are you saying, or from where are you speaking from? Like, when I when I speak my piece, I'm going to be speaking from a writer who solicits himself on social media. So, from where are you speaking from? I'm speaking of, I don't have kids, but I, I'm speaking at, from a parent's perspective. And that's why, that's why I see... Who censored it? I'm think I'm guessing the people who are doing the censoring, mm-hmm. they have kids. Okay. And I'm saying they probably see it in the mindset of, though my kids may not be following certain things, you know how, for instance, on YouTube, mm-hmm. or even on IG, they have the discovery page where it's just a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe they don't want their kids seeing certain things. So what they did was they'll put the I icon with the slash through it so they gotta tap the eye in order to see what it is how you feel about that um I, like I said to a certain extent it's cool because some of this stuff don't need well maybe it I don't think it be, I don't think it needs to be censored because I'm an adult but if I was in a childbirth what age do you think a child should be able to see childbirth on social media 12 that's the age that they should they, be feel, enlisting in sexual education I was about in to middle say, school. Out of elementary school. I'd, I'd agree with Drew. They have to be out of elementary. I school. definitely agree with Drew. Twelve. Middle, middle school. Yeah. Isn't that the uh, the appropriate age of sexual education, right? Like middle school. I say yeah. due to the fact that if we want to be honest, I think they starting at like fifth or sixth. Now, if we want to be honest Damn. and not oh, okay. saying well, not so saying now. we should keep sense. up with old traditions, when girls was getting a married and having babies at fourteen. Not saying we got to keep up with those traditions at all. But I'm saying at least 12 is where they need to start learning about themselves. It themselves. Yeah, that's yes. why I say uh, sexual education definitely in middle school. Like, I'm going to say don't have sex until you're at least able enough to understand the emotional weight that comes with it. Well, that's and, I that, and I say that and I say that because from even the whole the whole aspect of it of you can just slang your dick or, or drop your pussy without no feelings. Due to the, it's still a drawback of feelings that have that, that that it has on it. So, I say have sex when you're able enough to handle that emotional drawback, the yeah. emotional recoil. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, as kids, once they learn about their body in sexual education, they want to explore it physically. So, middle school may not be. The age to where you watch it. Maybe high school is the age. Okay. I think maybe we should push it back because. Like freshman year? Like freshman, sophomore year because think about it. It might be too late. You no, think but that, think about yeah, it. Yeah, you think they might rather add either, either add a spike or increase the spike in, uh, 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 shit. What, what am I looking for? Uh, preteen pregnancies? Yeah. Mm. I feel like the early you show kids about themselves, they're going to explore it earlier. Like, for instance, a lot of people that I know, as soon as we watch that sexual education video, we, we are, we're not, like, for me, I wasn't even thinking about sex or anything like that until I saw 
that sexual education. I was video. thinking about my body. I um, wasn't even thinking about that. Okay, so since we have so, a woman on the episode right now, mm-hmm. Devin, what, what, at what age? Yeah, that's a better question to ask her. At what age do you think we need to start telling kids about? Sex I and, said and sexual awareness. I said twelve. Fourteen. And what I mean by sex, huh? I give like a grade. High school. Yeah, yeah, I said middle school. I said I give a grade, grade. which, huh? I said like eighth seven. Grade. Eighth grade is about thirteen, fourteen, right? Yeah, 13. that's thirteen. Because I said I said seventh, and that was twelve. Okay. So it's like by school in high school, you're about to like start being. So instead of being an intro lesson, sixth grade, because growing up in Hazelwood School District is one through five, six to eighth. Ninth and twelfth. Not when I was in school, it was one, it was K through six. Yeah, they changed it for K-3-6. us. We was a, we we had in University K-3-6. City. We had a sixth grade center where sixth graders only had their their separate school right across the street from the seventh graders, mm-hmm. but that got turned into a uh, to a uh, like an after school is uh, OSS like an ACE type thing. Yeah, for okay. real, and it and was that's, bad. That's so sixth graders went all back to the uh, elementary schools with yeah, fifth graders. Yeah, it was K through six, seven and eighth, and then yeah, high and then high school. That's actually but, funny. Because when no. y- y'all probably didn't know, those kind of schools ain't been around for more than a hundred years. What, what do you mean? Like elementary schools and that kind of shit being fundamental mm-hmm. ain't been around for more than a hundred years. What right there? What do you Dev? mean by not That's being true. around? For huh? Damn, my it's not mm-hmm. been a thing you had to do. Oh, okay. Like, that shit is new. So with them changing up, honestly, people might see them as, they don't know what the fuck they doing. I see them as them trying to find out What's the best effective way? You get what I'm saying? Mm. Cause we haven't been around a hundred plus like a university to know this is what we need to be teaching, or this is in the field where we have these many different fields. Mm. We're still trying to get the basis of what exactly primary education is. Okay, so sex education. I, like primary education in America might be science, math, arithmetic. In another country, primary education might be history, math, arithmetic. I mean, history, math, and their native language. We don't know. So I see all of the strides for primary education, K through college, as primary, as we're still trying to make those strides to find out what is actually what we need to go by. Okay, but sex So education. we was all test dummies, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. What age? For sex? I would go with y'all. 12, no later than 13. No, you go with him. I said high school. Breaking into high school, you're about 13. 14, 15. Yeah, you're 14, 15. All right, well, let's go with... Well, shit, it depends on what school, then. Because if you're considering 8th grade... High school, which some schools do, not schools in St. Louis that I know mm-hmm. of, but some school districts around the country have lumped eighth grade into high schools. Okay, freshman, sophomore year. So we'll say, well, how old are you when you go into high school? Like 13, 14? 14. All right, so 13, 14. At 12, you should be getting to know what the hell, like, the system's supposed to do and shit. Yes. I feel like, yeah, I feel like at 12, they, sh- they should have Because you, you, you should know about, like, the endocrine system. Your, your Those body. should definitely yeah. be two different classes. Yeah. Like, you learning what comes out of a woman should be definitely but they do, different they do from do that. They do sex that from education. first semester and second semester. However, sex education should yeah. go over yeah, They do. It is like, it's after. already set up like that. First semester is your body, your individual body, and second semester is See, we only took, in, in, in East, we only took sex education one semester. No, we, we did it. Twice. We had, yeah, we, we had it twice. a whole year. We did it twice. Huh? Our fucking science teacher yeah, was the sex edge teacher. Was, Mr. Well, Gammon in twice. New City. For us, yeah, it was only one semester. For y'all, that's He different. was the fucking, um... Because we had football Will coach. He <laughs> had the first... Yeah. Season, uh, no, no, no. In that's science, why. I think it was what? football. You said what why. Why? It's not because of the curriculum. It's because of the damn teacher. You said why. Will Height. Will Height was a damn good-ass teacher. Where is... Um, hey, so it is. You went to the East. Yeah. Point. So it's, it, we had... Uh, no, I was, uh, this is what I was about to say. We the had first that, semester, we learned about... The body, not sex, but the body in science class. And then in PE, the second semester, then we'll learn about sex education. We had a separate sex health class.
class. Oh, yeah, I had it. Yeah. No, yeah, we, we, had we took it in class. physical, science, we took it in physical yeah, education. The science class. teacher was the sex ed teacher, and he had two separate courses. No, we didn't do yep. that. We had a sexual education video second semester in physical education. Damn. Because it is physical education, sex is, because you put yeah. in that work. You know what uh, I mean? <laughs> Timestamp. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> <laughs> no, but I say, I say, the I may be wrong, but the later you show about sex, the later early pregnancies are. That's one thing I like about that TV show, Big Mouth. I like I that, love that show. I like how it's giving people the choice to know, you know, because outside of the parental boundaries. Uh, on Netflix uh, that parents can set for their children, um, it's up to the kids at a certain age to read the synopsis and see which episode best fits them in their in their challenge. There were uh, there were episodes that I watched during the first season that I said, "Oh, holy fuck! If only I had this shit when I was in middle school, I would understand so much shit better." Like so, I, I enjoy platforms like that 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 are outside of education. That that's giving the real world something that they can use. The big big mouth that big mouth blah, that big mouth show is a really good show. If you I've seen, seen it, really what the show. first ep- the first season yeah the first season. They it's oh yeah really good. Um, for for the second season I will say for kids who do not who who are not taking appropriate sex ed classes that show is brilliant. Yeah. If you have questions about yourself and you're afraid to go to your parents, older brother or sister. Even your other friends, that show is definitely something that you can use. Very true, very true. This, that show and is and is funny. Yeah, it's that's hella funny. That's what makes it so easily consumable. Oh, they God, got, I gotta put this on here. They got some adult language, but for the for the for the young black gay kids, whether you are a lesbian or 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 or, or, or gay, there is a TV show out there for you called Noah's Ark. It is by Patrick Ian Polk. I'm going to give him Noah's I art. Heard of that. Watch yeah. that. You are going to feel so much better about life. Is that MTV? No, it, it was on Logo back in 2006. And I'm telling you, there's two seasons and a movie. It is something that you need to have in your memory. They're bringing it on Netflix. That's I've why I heard it. What? They're bringing it on Are Netflix. Are you kidding me? Because they've been. I'm it's either freak ne- the fuck out. It's either Netflix or Hulu because I've got, been seeing. I ain't like, got nobody Hulu, but uh, I'm, I'm going to have to go in and get it. I've been hearing like uh, it's trailers. Noah's for Ark it. with a C. Ark with a C. I've been hearing like trailers for it. I'm like, man, why do these shows sound familiar? I have the show on DVD and it's really good. Also, for the, um, for the anime fans out there who. For the gay anime fans, there is an anime out there called Gaku in Heaven. Goku in Heaven? No, Gaku in. Oh. <laughs> G-A-Q-U-E-N, Heaven. You will love it. All right. Ooh, and Love Stage. I'm a real big... I'm a, I am don't want to call myself an otaku or fujoshi, okay. but I'm literally an otaku or fujoshi. And explain um, what that is. Super anime manga nerd. Um, okay. It's just like literally, uh, I'm really more into yaoi and um, and and BL anime. I love BL anime, which is stands for boys love anime, and yaoi is just uh, man on man. But um, they there are so many animes out there that are uh, harem related as well that I love, and harem is just like one man with like a bunch of Busty bitches by him by his side. Busty bitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh I'm really into that right now. It's so funny because um the male is always shy or he tries not to look at the girls and they're just throwing themselves at him and it's always like six or more and it's hilarious. That, that sounds funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. Um high school uh high school D uh, DXD is a prime example. Um he gets powerful by looking oh. at yeah he gets stronger he gets these this demon slayer power by looking at naked girls <laughs> show me the titties and literally like <laughs> he will press in the nipple and he'll get this full armor dragon suit and shit and it, it's hilarious purple nerf <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you watching <laughs> that sounds hella it's funny great. <laughs> you know i have a verve account shout out to verve it's like 13 channels of glorious anime and movies and oh. and and glorious game content for eleven ninety nine a month. 
is it is it just uh gay animes or no 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 like no Dragon that's Ball Z no, no it's everything uh Crunchyroll and funny and Funimation are two examples of a channel mm-hmm. so you can only imagine 13 channels uh, what type of content they have Funimation got a lot of good yeah stuff. so it's literally I'm finna show you now uh it has yeah Boomerang Cartoon Hangover Crunchyroll Curiosity System Geek and Sundry High Dive Mondo Oh, Nerdist, shit. Nick Splat, Rooster Teeth, Bird Select, and Shudder. All of these are channels on here, and they all have amazing anime. I'm literally on here every fucking day. If you not, if you don't want to use Netflix's anime section, Verve is a hot spot for you. And how much does it cost? Somebody? Oh, eleven ninety nine. It's a Hulu account. Yeah, out, honestly, bro. if you just want to, if you just want to anime it up and live your life in a, in an otaku sensation. Verve, V R V, you'll love it. What's the best anime that was ever made? Okay, so I know what's the best anime, but the best anime to me are both two different answers. Okay, go ahead. Um, okay, so I feel, man. I'm gonna start it off. Okay. With um. Yeah, yo. Because I wanna go. I wanna go a little bit old school. So I have two generations of best anime of all time. Mm-hmm. First generation for me is Fist of the North Star, and if you're a hardcore anime person, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 1989, Fist of the North Star. Never heard of it before it's, my time. Man. Okay. <laughs> I've been in that. anime yeah. since like seven years old. Mm-hmm. Like when I first was able to like. <laughs> the first anime I ever seen was Dragon Re- Ball Z and Gundam Same. Wing. My first anime was Fist, Fist of the North Star. Um, but Same it's here. fucking classic. It's fucking classic. Um, second generation. Fuck, it's kind of hard for me, but I want to say Full Metal Alchemist that Brotherhood. Really good. One. Hashtag One Piece. Um, one Piece. Now my that's really good too. Yeah, that's really good. Now too. my favorite anime to me, and this is only because this anime got me through a really dark, depressive state uh, that I was in a few years ago. Maybe I want to say like six years ago or whatever. This anime literally brought me out, and I don't know how it did it. I just got it's attached messages, to it. Messages and um, anime are really I sh- good. I have two animes like that because I had two dark moments. And these animes literally livened me back up. Like, they put my soul back in my body. And um, the first anime was Fairy Tale. And it's everything that I love to this day. I literally, look at my, can I have my keys? Every keychain I own is Fairy Tale related. I have the top three characters Natsu, Dragneel, Lucy Hartfilia, and Happy, the blue cat. She looked like a character off of Sailor Moon. Yo, she dope as fuck. Then I have her. Zo- uh, then I have the Zodiac Key Libra, which is my Zodiac. And the second anime is a uh, Yuri on Ice. Now, that anime uh, got me out of my dark Atlanta stage, and uh, and that anime is a uh, is a uh, a BL anime, but it's it's a beautifully done. Um, it's a figure skating anime. But it's very, very dope. It teaches you about figure skating, competitive figure skating, if you don't know anything about it. Um, And the cool thing about it is the skating sequences, first of all of the music on there is original content. And um, the skating sequences have been 3D digitalized from uh, from Olympic figure skaters. Mm -hmm. So they oh, they dope. drew them per second by this 3D model. Um, so the the an, the animation is gorgeous with these skating sequences, and they're so of course they're doing real tricks. So that's another thing that you get to see animated real figure skating tricks, and um and that that's just beautiful in and of itself. The the one thing that got me on that anime was its uh, opening theme song. It was so. <laughs> Honestly, it was so gay and and cute. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck am I watching?" <laughs> anime, anime theme songs are, co- ain't no kind of. They way better than regular cartoon they theme songs. They are dope as fuck. That I honestly have fuck. two playlists just of anime openings and endings, just yeah. because they get you in the right mood. And you I like work how out or anything. I like how anime through each season it's a different opening. Yeah. For instance, like Naruto got a different opening. They're really really good. I usually think that's supposed to just to show the intensity of how that season's supposed to go. What's on your face? Yeah, you got something bad on your face. There you go. Um, all right, so <laughs> what's better, honestly, anime the TV shows or movies? 
Mm. I love the TV movie. shows. The fuck? I love the movies because I, I love. So goddamn no, wait a minute. Goddamn wait a minute. Podcast. No, he has a no. He has a, good a good question. point because I love the movies based on if you're wa- if you're watching a good anime and you're watching the movies from that anime, they show you a different. They show the characters in a different light. Yes. Whether it's costumes, whether it's personal life. Whether it's their clothes, even visually, even visually, yes, you you see them in a different light, and it makes you re love that anime in of itself. So I say the shows are better, but the movies make you love the show Hold on. even more. Hold on, Vic, what is that in your hand? Hell if I know, I don't know. Oh, I thought nigga, I thought that was the damn one hit. I was gonna say nigga, you've been you been smoking while I was at the bathroom. Yeah, no, I don't smoke. <laughs> no. <laughs> you no. disrespect. No, but for instance, like um, the Dragon Ball Z movie, all of them, especially the ones with Broly in it. Oh my gosh! It's only two with Broly in it. Huh? It's only two with Broly in it. Yeah, that's why I said the one. The original, which cannot be touched, in terms of. My brother still has that one. And, uh, in terms, it cannot be touched in terms of, the, the even pistol. though the new Broly movie is what we really got to go by, the mm-hmm. old move girl Broly movie is like an original $10 bill. Even though we got the <laughs> new $10, dollar, even yeah, even though we got the new 10s out, <laughs> if you we get that original $10 out. bill, just look at that motherfucker like, damn, this is an original. Like before, you, before you spend it. <laughs> Bro, uh, what else was good? Pokemon 2000. Oh, Woo! Oh, my God. When it was just 150. Excuse me. Oh, now, boy, and you YouTube? see? Oh, my God. Did y'all see the new one where Pikachu actually speaks? No. No one seen this one. No. It took twenty five years to pick so up pick a little learn did, English. They redid the original movie for uh, Pokemon's twenty fifth anniversary, I believe. I think it was the twenty fifth anniversary. And um, no, I'm sorry. It was twenty years. It was the twentieth anniversary of Pokemon. They redid the movie. So and at, and the movie is beautifully done because of the animation and, and such and, and so forth. And um, the, the, this, it keeps the basic storyline of Pokemon. The movie two thousand and um and the and the first season of Pokemon. So it's just a remake. It's literally a remake, okay. but it, it looks it looks better because they they changed the story here and there okay. and um and they changed the ending and it's really nice. But Pikachu speaks at the end. Uh, it's literally for three seconds, but he does. That's epic. And what does he say? It's squeaky like this. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> but it like that. When I saw Pokemon 2000, it hit home when uh, Ash turned into stone and Pikachu just kept electrocuting him over and over Pick again. Do you, oh, that, that killed me. Oh, I cried. God, I cried. That cried. crushed me. Do you know man. what I? Do you know what? Uh, what? What an, animation movie oh, I first saw in kill theaters? Him, man. You kill it was him. Digimon. I first saw Digimon, Digimon was in theaters. Really good too. And I fucking not the went, show, the movie. Now wait a minute. I now I I am one. I am probably the only person out of like a thousand people. Who love Digimon? And this is a good episode and of the I Rubber Vitamin Podcast. Love Digimon, <laughs> I love it to death. I love that was literally my ch- that was my childhood. I had the games. I had the fucking uh, bed spread. Are you kidding me? With my friends, it was either Digimon or Yu Gi Oh, and Yu Gi Oh was so much better. Yes, yeah. Yu Gi Oh has always been better than Pokemon. No, I'm talking about Yu Gi Oh versus Digimon. Oh. I you never could. Both? I never, I never could uh, compare the not two. The first okay, two okay. Here's the thing: the Pokemon games, untouchable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fucking amazing. Forever be classic. Like the actual, in like the actual Game Boy games and shit. Pokemon Red, Blue, Yes, Gold, oh Silver, uh, amazing. Uh, However, in the physical world, Yu-Gi-Oh trumps Pokemon. It's too much. To play somebody in well, Pokemon, Pokemon cards, the, they po- the Pokemon no, cards. No, I mean it's they too much. Too. Like you gotta have the fucking element cards to use certain moves. Yeah, it's too much. Oh, as far as like real life playing the game. Pokemon, yes, yeah, that's Pokemon what I mean. Was trash compared to Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. No, like, but as far as collecting, they were almost neck and neck. Yeah. No, what I mean, like online compared to the video game aspect. The video game aspect of Yu-Gi-Oh was trash. Was trash. But the video game aspect of Pokemon. Not Duelist of the Roses. That heat. Not Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. It that was, was still compared that was to the getting only your vi- own Pokemon. It's like Marvel and versus DC. It. Marvel yeah. movies is better than DC movies, but DC animation, animation is, is way better than uh, Marvel's animation. Okay, I'll put it there. 
due to the fact that when it comes to like Pokemon, being but, able to actually but challenge Marvel's like Pokemon Disney Emerald, animation you could go against Red. You could, I mean, you could go really? against Team mm-hmm. Aqua and Team Magma. Marvels did once. Then once he, Disney started doing their animation, Marvel's animation started looking way better. You know, uh, they're taking all of Disney off of Netflix? Yes. Really? Well, with the exception of, uh, there's one show that's still on, I think it's The Punisher. Punisher? I yeah. think it's The Punisher. But everyone, yeah, they, if, Jessica Jones, Luke stuff, Cage, so. Daredevil, Iron Fist, the, uh, the Defenders, sure network. they're all off. That's going to be, that's gonna be some, other, some other shit we're going to get charged for. Yeah, they we're gonna literally be, have their own I'm telling you, within well, five to ten years, we're going to be paying the same amount for cable for different <laughs> streaming services. Yeah. And, well, right and, now, if, it, and it's if, like, if when you it have comes like down the Hulu to that, Live plus the, yeah, the, the, the say, top anything, Netflix, Hulu then you're right and there. Netflix is to go to. The go when to. it comes down to that, wouldn't you rather just buy the damn cable? No. no. Hell no. Because of no. commercials. No. If you could just buy the cable on social media, because of commercials. I mean, on, on internet, without the commercial. No, still. Because Hulu and Netflix, you can see stuff that you that that's been out since like that. There, I rather see I rather see Netflix's and uh, I don't rather see not Hulu's original. I rather see Netflix's original content plus the stuff that they have on cable than rather seeing just the stuff that they have on cable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That yeah, it's I rather it's not see even more comparable. original con- besides like Netflix and, and even like Amazon Prime movies. Like they have contracts with with other pr- production team and production networks that cable can't even touch. There are so many, there are, like, for instance, this is just for the gay community again, because that's what I can lean on. There's so many LGBT films on Amazon and on Netflix that Logo TV, we have one channel on cable, and it's Logo, and they play Golden Girls for 18 <laughs> hours of the day. And, like, now, fast. There's and nothing Golden else Girl. on, there's nothing else on that, that TV show. They, RuPaul originally was on that show. Really? They canceled, yeah. On Golden Her, Girl? No, on fucking logo. Uh, RuPa- Drag Race was originally on I was logo. Like, RuPaul on Golden Girl. That's no, hilarious, yeah. bro. That <laughs> episode the, that I missed. The straight people <laughs> lost in the great one. That looked funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's just episode one example. Episode done numbers. <laughs> like horror. We have got like six I mean, channels black on girls cable love for Golden horror. Girls. <laughs> There's countless horror movies that aren't even shown on cable. Yeah. That Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu have. A plethora of okay. Now instead of going straight to DVD, they go straight to Netflix. They're going so straight. They're going like, hey, yo, I got this movie. You want to? You get the okay? Great. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the link. DVDs, right, great. CDs will be obsolete within the next. DVDs, two years. CDs. You said two years. Cornbread. Two years. Cable be cable will be so you don't obsolete want no within Hold the on. next five years. Hold on. Let's give. You said within the next. I say by 2025. 2025. Cable what? or CDs? CDs. No. And cable. Given that I give it five years. Well, I give it twenty twenty five. Two no two years. I give it two years. They're all they're they're already uh, because basing Best Buy like, already took out all of that stuff. Yeah, I give that's why I give it twenty twenty five. Because you still got to give away for the people who are last getting on the bandwagon. You mm. gotta understand. Go to, go to a the go to Target, uh, Best Buy, Walmart. You will see. Besides, I, I'll take Walmart out. Target, uh, Best Buy. You rarely see any CV, CDs, DVDs, or any of that. Walmart, yeah, you'll get it, but they still in like box sets. Of but what I'm stuff. what I'm putting mm. that to is it's gonna be like, it's collector gonna be, items. It's all collector items. It's gonna be items. like the introduction of the smartphone. It's gonna be like a slow and steady race. This, the, that race uh, that race has started like five years ago. It's already. still gonna be people who are reluctant Not to five just years jump ago. on the bandwagon. Mm. Nobody is reluctant anymore to uh, go ag- go against. Uh, I mean to. Go to streaming services. Once Netflix, Hulu, and Apple Music came out, that's when it's starting to gradually. You see CDs and stuff go away. Nobody's selling physical copies of CDs anymore, unless like you're re- like a really true. Cable true fan is for still putting items. out. Even though cable is being challenged, cable is still putting out more money than them. That's because not everybody is going. Not everybody is going to. Uh, is going exactly. To pay for high, so it's like it's going to be. A, to he say two services. years. I say about five years. I'm just giving it a little bit more time. He said about six. I think I was going to say I think about seven years. By 2025. I say give it a random number. I say by 2036 we'll be all right. <laughs> 
I'll say the next two years. Shit, and then by 2036, we'll be looking at this shit on our hands like, okay. They were like, Drew, you right? I'm like, look, I told you I 2036. You got your holographic ring on? Yeah, nigga. I'm watching your little YouTube video. Nah, I think. They already got the Ocula glasses where you can look at your little virtual friend in two different places and watch movies and shit. Within the next 10 years, YouTube will not exist anymore. What? YouTube? I love YouTube. I'm always on there. Within the next two years? 10. I don't know. That's People are always go on YouTube for any mm-hmm. type of... Mm-hmm. As far as... Because of... The creators on YouTube has already been talking about trying to start up a whole nother service. Because YouTube is been. censoring everything. Yeah. And that's the true. way the way to get paid on YouTube now is ridiculous now. So they're, yeah, they're trying you, to go... You can hear if, you haven't, if you're not already established on YouTube, there's no way you, you can, can get actually, on within the yeah. next five years. It's no way I mean, within the mm-hmm. next year. you gotta you gotta Unless you like somebody famous. And you got to be famous from the jump. Yeah. I, that, that is very true. So but, I say 10 years, man. You got to have some type of crazy following. Like you <laughs> saved a towering of fire. Yeah, of, you got to have a cold But you say dead, dead in 10 years? I can't see that. I wouldn't that. say dead, dead, but like... It, I can it, see it like, it'd be like Kmart now. It'd be like Ash okay. Jeeves. Okay. It'd be like Ash that. Jeeves. Yep. I'll give you that. Yep. It'd be like Ash Jeeves. It's it'd, still there, but... It'd be the Ash we'll Jeeves it. of video blogs. I'll give you that. I will They'll be. actually turn YouTube into a social media site for real. For It'd be like the new Facebook. Because they already starting to do where you can write posts and I'm stuff so like that. I'm so tired of people's opinions. They think they're just so important. You're not important. Stop Facebook. leaving these opinions. That you but think somebody else will say that's your opinion. That's cool. My mm-hmm. opinion may not be important, but I'm gonna tell you this: it's less. It's not less important than in the most unimportant opinion on the, on the post. How you know? Because of my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. I don't care what nobody say. Um, I was gonna be wrapping up soon. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I just feel like cable will be gone in the next. Two to five years, bro. I don't, I don't see, I don't see a need for it anymore, honestly. Because now you got Hulu Live to where you can watch sports. Okay, so you too. see, you see cable in the next two to five. Yeah, you YouTube. can see a lot of sports on Amazon too. So you yeah, see cable like, in the next two to, uh, two to five. YouTube in the next five to ten. What's after I say that? ten. What like what's gone after that? No, what's after that? What's what's what what what, what do we have after that? You have Hulu, Netflix. Amazon. Amazon is really making a push. Just everybody putting out their own content. Streaming content. And if you like it, you subscribe to it. I think that there's going to be one place to watch all the content. Like a fire stick. Like Eventually, we're going to have one universal device where you can watch all the streaming content. And that's what YouTube was at first. Well, that's probably what we're going to. We're probably going to get one in each home. Each home, most likely, is probably going to be built with it. So somebody... Eventually, you know Netflix what I'm saying? Netflix is going to buy out everybody and like no 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 no. amazon prime will amazon will eventually buy out netflix if youtube don't buy amazon prime amazon prime will buy out youtube there's no way youtube can buy out amazon well i don't know how much money amazon i mean youtube got there's no way no what i mean by that is youtube might stick to being independent we don't know how much money like if they got fuck you money YouTube? If they got fuck, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean by independent? If they got fuck you money, which means Drew trying to buy out Drew is Amazon. He's trying to buy out me, YouTube. I'm giving you 32 million. Well, nigga, we worth 72 million. Fuck you. We got fuck you money. Oh, don't get it twisted. They're they're uh, if I'm not mistaken, they're a billion dollar company. If I'm not exactly, mistaken. they got fuck you money. It's fuck you. Not those type, bruh. I got ink on my hand. What is this? A pen. <laughs> Give me that top, man. Where do I go? Don't I thought this was a pants. pencil. Don't touch your pants. I, where the pe- I thought this was a whole pencil, where the top bro. At? Thank you. <laughs> Dang, man. Let me guess. You was twisting it, wasn't you? No, I was just like this, just holding it like this. That's crazy. Damn, but uh, nah, I think um, it's probably one of the pants. One, one of the pants needs to be filled up. YouTube could be could be bought. I feel like every company, like company like that, can be bought. 
Mm-hmm. Or, the, or they got fuck you money, but they, they can't say fuck you to every billion dollar company. Yeah, this is why I say it can be bought. Because either you're going to let us buy you, or we go take what you got and make it better. Just, just like what IG did to Snapchat. Just That's what true. Facebook did to MySpace. And we're going to take what you, you... Either you partner with us, or I'm, I'm just going to take you. And we're gonna Hashtag probably. Blockbuster and Netflix. Yep. And Blockbuster. Gonna... They could have had Buku bread. Now look at them. They huh. laughed at them. Don't forget that they laughed yeah, at Netflix. This will never happen. You think people are just going to... No. All right. And we're going to probably have to touch back on that and pick back up on that shit on another later episode. But for this week, this has been your weekly, uh, shit. Ep- <laughs> we got a weekly episode of Verbal Vitamin Podcast. This is Ty. This is your boy, Vic. This is your dude, Drew Skaboo. Drew Skaboo. And Devin. That's all she had to say. And Devin. Devin. <laughs> We're going to catch you on that week's episode. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Peace.